five minute hype. That's because I got really close to the mic, and the music is supposed to be in the background. Excuse me, we've got Deadly D8 in here? Well then I guess we'd better get started! That's the wrong one. Start! <laughs> good start, good start. What's up guys? I'll leave the music on for y'all. I'll leave the music on just so we can chill. It should be nice in the background, it shouldn't be getting in the way. What is up, Cookie Ghost? What is up, Andrew? Can't stick around? No worries, we'll be going for hours here. Yo, we got Deadly D8, we got Will, we got Reaper, Jonathan, let's go. What's up, Adriel? Adriel? Not sure which way to pronounce that. What's up? How are we doing, y'all? So the target is $100? Sort of. 
So, I might as well explain this here and now. <laughs> he said my name. Uh, that chat is really hard to read, but oh well. <laughs> it's been a while. It has been a hot minute. Aside from that editing stream, this is the only stream I've done in like three months. Mm. Sweet serenade, spicy music. <laughs> uh, so, welcome y'all to the Hot Sauce Challenge stream. Most of the stream is going to be us chillin' and talking, answering questions, maybe playing some games, and hanging out for six hours, give or take, depending on how things go. As someone just put it in the chat, if you type exclamation point hot, you can see that every $100 donated by the chat, whether it's through super chats or stickers or whatever, will work up to the next $100, at which point I will be opening, thank you, Enslaved, I put on eyeliner. Uh, they yo Srivasu noticed. Let's go. Thank you for noticing. Oh my word. <laughs> um, at every hundred dollars, we'll be cracking open the hot sauce challenge of pleasure and pain. Don't ignore the intermission thing. This is just like the the vlog setup of a pre-made setup. So don't don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, so here we have them. Here we have the twelve hot sauces. On top of that. Um, oh, hold on, let me copy that over one second. I believe I can do this, because I have something over here that I want to take this, copy, go to intermission, and paste in. Did that work? Uh, no, go, no, 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 oh, no, no, doing things off the top of things, and there we go, lock that in. Close it. Boom. There we go. Right up above. Yo, and we have our first donation. Thank you so much, Evil's Bane, for the $10 donation. Now we see if my producer is doing as he promised. Yeah, he is. Let's go. All right, we can see it right there, y'all. We got... I love you, Nathan. <laughs> we got the first donation. $10 on the board. Do I have milk or ice cream? I sure do. I sure do. I have both in the fridge. I am, I am out of... Hello? There we go, we're back in focus. Yes, I do have milk, I do have ice cream prepared. For now, I think I'm good. We have our 12 hot sauces. Uh, why, go, go away, sea cleaner. I don't wanna update right now. Thank you very much. Yo, <laughs> I didn't even notice, what's up, Josh? How we doing, man? Why is your ice cream in the fridge? Because I don't know what a freezer is, apparently. <laughs> why am I torturing myself today? For the good of entertainment, as all good comedians once said, pain is joy. Uh, the first right try was the right pronounce, I nailed it. Adriel, let's go! Love it. Um, but, of course, you don't just do hot sauce alone. You don't just take hot sauce and drink hot sauce. Unless you're insane. No, 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 no. We have the level 20 artifact, Bola Nuggies. <laughs> we have a big old warm bowl of fresh Nuggies ready to put hot sauce on. So those will be there. The whole stream, ready for saucin. Yo, Eventide, thank you for the $1.49 super sticker? Sticker chat? I know there's super chat, there's stickers. I don't know, that's a unicorn, and I appreciate it. A freezer is just a fridge without an off switch? Technically. Um, <laughs> homemade hot ones? I would be lying if I said I didn't get a little bit of... Um, Inspiration from Hot Ones, obviously. Um, me, me and my girlfriend recently watched the Shia LaBeouf Hot Ones. If you've never seen it, I highly, highly recommend. Um, oh, <laughs> the automated stream lab things. That's fine. You'll, you, you'll see something pop up saying Super Chat just paid one forty nine to see Nonat in a cactus costume. Ignore that. Don't even worry about it. Does this mean you're Sean Evans? Yes. You're Sean Evans. I'm Shia LaBeouf. And I'm going to look really sad. If you haven't seen the Shia LaBeouf Hot Ones, do yourself a favor and watch it. He is definitely... There. For the... <laughs> He's not all there. He's not all there. You're freaking hungry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry you're hungry. So what you're saying is I shouldn't eat this delicious, fresh, breaded nuggy? Don't just soak bread and hot hot. Ew! I mean, it's so grocery boss. You just bread soaked in hot sauce. Mmm. But, if I do start dying, I do have bread to fall back on, which is good. But, alongside this, and occasionally you'll see it pop up here. That is good. Good tendies. 
Good tendies. Um, alongside the hot sauce, there are two bonus incentives for $500 and $1,000. If we hit $500... <laughs> Thank you, Remy, for the 10 Canadian dollar donation. Great school eats you, yes. You're stealing my tendies! This thing's been living Hi, in my house friends. for like six years. I hope I ran. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Remy. Great school eats you, yes, yes. Roll a DC 15 fort save. Dude, if I get paralyzed, I can't finish the stream. Like, it's a super low DC, but it, it happened in the campaign twice. And Revieri, thank you for the $5 donation. I appreciate you guys so much. Oh, my word. And we're already $25 on the way to the first sauce, which, let's see what, what we're working towards. Right now, we're working towards... This doesn't sound terrible. It's bacon hot sauce. I don't know if I should be scared of that. I don't think so. It's still in the candy section. The first one is bacon, though. Doesn't sound great, though. Cactus Nut, no, that's a leshy. There was a, there was a joke a while back. Oh my god, Reaper. Be sure to tell us if the sauces are good. A bottle of hot garbage is easy. Hot and tasty is easy on paper. Hard and practice. Yes, and that is what's terrifying about the super, super late game ones of these. The stuff here at the bottom, there's almost no flavor. It's just pain. So uh, that's going to be interesting. But thank you so much, Reaper. We are already about halfway. All right, need that part. Is oh my god. Josh, thank you for the $30 super chat. I've done this challenge before during streams of Until Dawn. I actually bit into peppers. Not as bad as the progressive drag, though. <laughs> charity. Yeah. I want to do this again in the future for charity, absolutely. You can almost think of this as a, as a test run. Also, because this summer is one of the most expensive summers of my life. Uh, between Gen Con and multiple different trips to visit family members and friends, uh, it's going to be expensive. So thank you all sincerely for helping me recoup some of those losses. And I hope I'm able to provide you some entertainment in return. <laughs> um, almost at the first one. All right, I'm, I'm here. 420 blaze it on the Scoville scale. Thank you so much, Deadly DA, for the 420. Let's go. Uh, so, I should say that as far as Scoville goes, which is a very rough scale, I know that this entire row down here is roughly around the 1 million mark. I think these four are pretty equally hot in different ways, but they all register at least 500,000 to 1 million on the Scoville scale. So that'll be fun. <laughs> uh, which secrets of magic class am I excited for? I want to play a summoner. I want to play a summoner who doesn't speak common. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Can speak like like a kobold summoner that speaks draconic or something, but not common. That'd be... Oh my word, Dez! What's up, Dez? How you doing? Thank you for the 1999. Let's get spicy. According to my chat... Uh, that's that's over 100. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been live for eight minutes. Let's eat some hot sauce. <laughs> and thank you, Revieri, for the 999. I'm going to be shooting fireballs. Not the kind of fun fireballs. I'm not gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna be dealing 66 damage to anyone else. I tell you that much. So let's let's pop this open, shall we? Goodbye. Oh, they even have nutrition facts for all the hot sauces. That's that's good. All right, tendy time. All right. So, ladies, gentlemen, NBs, it's time for ass kicking bacon hot sauce. Just here to watch the suffering. I'm so glad, Dez. I'm so glad you get to watch me suffer. Doesn't Bree put us through enough? <laughs> Thoughts on gnolls? Uh, gnolls are really cool. I love that they're going to be playable. And the ant knoll is adorable. It's freaking cute and I would die for it. All right. All right. This is what friendship is about. <laughs> Surprisingly wholesome with the nutrition facts, right? You got to know what's going in your body. So I don't think this is going to be bad. This one has water, cayenne, pepper, tomato paste, vinegar. The only thing spicy is this is cayenne. And cayenne is not bad. So this one shouldn't be awful. Oh, that smells actually really good. 
<laughs> Even time with the five dollars. Oh, I love goblin songs. Goblins do not like to chew the meats we put in our stew. Babies are the softest meat. They always make it taste. I should have read that before I kept going. All right, all right. We're gonna go nice and hearty here. So we got bacon hot sauce here. Ooh, there we. Oh, that's a little much. That's a little much. But there we go. Nice, a nice healthy coverage. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's a good hot sauce. Like, it's definitely that... <coughs> it's that fake bacon taste. Not in a bad way, though. You know, the same way you have, like... Yeah, I dropped it. The same way you have, like, bacon bits on a salad. That's kind of what this tastes like. So it just sort of tasted like I covered my chicken tendy in, like, some a little... Little, little bacon bits. It wasn't that spicy, though. Mmm. Oh, that's true, Paul. It is mostly water. So the more of this I drink, the more I hydrate. So it's all actually good for me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Phantom Prince. What class do I wish I were? Barbarian. If I were a barbarian, this would be easy because barbarian's fortitude save skyrocket. And I guarantee spicy foods is a fortitude save. I need 126. Good lord, y'all. Now, yeah, no, I, I fumbled my reflex save to put the hot sauce down. Uh, just so people have something to look forward to. Our next aim is chili lime, which sounds delightful. And then after that, we start getting into like the real stuff. After that, it gets, oh boy. <laughs> Barbarian hot pepper instinct homebrew. I would love a spice. Did you guys ever watch, did you guys ever watch Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, um, the anime? And did you ever watch the episode where, in the original Japanese, the character's dad runs an alcohol, like, like runs an alcohol uh, brewery, like they, they make and sell sake. But in the English version, because it was like, you know, alcohol's a no-no, uh, he ran a hot sauce factory. <laughs> so, <laughs> all of his cards and everything were all hot sauce themed. And he was like, we're gonna be drinking hot sauce every night. <laughs> it's so good. Dude, yeah, never mind, you know, an alchemist. Yeah, maybe even you know, a barbarian alchemist, but yeah, an alchemist that brews freaking hot sauces for their mutagens. I kinda love it that I might need to make it. When you think about it, this guy just ate a delightful nugget for $100. Oh yeah, it's big brain time. <laughs> I've done it. I've cracked the code. I won YouTube. Oh my word, could have just made it coffee or something? Like the old, oh my word, the tutorial guy in Pokemon Red. I almost played Pokemon here today. I almost wanted to play Pokemon. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I didn't homebrew these sauces, they're store-bought. Um, yeah, I, I almost played Pokemon here today. I thought about it, thought it could be fun to play with chat. I couldn't get it to work though. Um, and I decided, yeah, we'll just do something else. And uh, the bonus game is gonna be far more interesting. The bonus game, I'm just saying, stick around. Uh, or at least come back. It's gonna be uh, interesting. Pokemon Red Stream in the future? Probably. Probably at some point. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Yo, Fry Minis! What's good, man? If you guys don't know, Fry Minis is a YouTuber right here. Click on him. Check him out. Check out his channel. Fry Minis, drop your channel link in the, in the chat. Go for it. Might be hot going in, but watch out for it going out. Does hot sauce do fire damage or acid damage? Fire damage on the way in, acid damage on the way out. <laughs> drive through RPG, ridiculously peppery game. <laughs> oh, Revieri, did you say wasabi hot sauce? Because I have wasabi hot sauce. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> That's number six, so we have a little ways to go. I'm still pretty safe for now. Uh, I'm so excited to see Secrets of Magic. I didn't check out the sneak preview. I want to do my, uh, my live reaction stream. I'm so looking forward to that, going through it with y'all. The day it comes out, it's gonna be so much fun. Wasabi hot sauce is painful. I know. Honestly, once we get through this top row, this is this is like I can manage. Here's where it gets rough. These eight, these four hurt. These four ruin my life. For those of you who don't know, I've done this book like three years ago, maybe two years ago. But yeah, uh, these are rough. I did get to the bottom, but it's a blur. Like. This row was just pain. 
I remember someone came in and donated enough to make me do all four of these in, like, a 20-minute interval. It was brutal. Like, 20 minutes to do all of them. It was awful. <laughs> uh, for the Hot Sauce Instinct, imagine a Yosoki Hot Sauce Barbarian that carries at least four types of hot sauces in his mouth. Can we talk about how Cheek Pouches is one of the best feats in the game? Oh my god. That's true, Robert. Wasabi hurts, but it doesn't linger. Wasabi kind of goes... It comes in and leaves on its own terms. Uh, pretty fast. Looking forward to Secrets of Magic very much, especially because I legitimately have a Magus player. I think a lot of people do. A lot of people want to roll a Magus. And the best you can do right now is either a fighter with a spellcasting dedication or the Eldritch Archer. I think Eldritch Archer is the closest thing we get to Magus right now. And I played one, and they're really broken, so I love them. <laughs> fighter, Eldritch Archer are so dumb. Secrets of Magic got pushed back? Is it still coming out this month? Wait, is Secrets of Magic not coming out this month? Or September, I mean? When are you coming out? Um, Phantom Prince at the $5. You say safe still. I doubt. I doubt indeed. <laughs> and even tied with another five. Why? I'm, I'm never safe. Never safe in my life. That's okay. Uh, Pathfinder 2, but every time you roll in that one, you take a shot of hot sauce. Uh, oh, I bet this is horseradish. I'm actually curious, even tied. Let me see. Wasabi is water, habanero pepper, jalapeno pepper, tomato paste, and specifically wasabi horseradish. So it's definitely horseradish, but it says specifically wasabi horseradish, whatever that means. It's probably horseradish that tastes similar to wasabi. Um, Reaper Grim with another five. Wasabi hot sauce makes me want to do my redneck. Oh, oh, okay. It took me a second to, to decode the secret message word there. Deep fry some sushi. I've, have I had fried sushi? I Misfit? Misfit, uh, did... Mis... Misfit, did you put an extra zero by accident? Did you... Did you... Was that supposed to be 10? Was that, uh, was that supposed to be 10 dollars? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no message, nothing, just drops it. No, all right. <laughs> Ghost Pepper Leshy reflects all damage from bite attacks back. That would be amazing! <laughs> Specific ancestry feat that reflects bite damage from Jaws attacks. Oh, God. Okay, let's let's move on then. <clears throat> Shan Wolf, I do this for people like you. Everyone's got a little bit of sadism in there. You know, it's not like a lot. It doesn't have to be a lot. Sadism is not inherently a bad thing. But we all enjoy schadenfreude, which if you're unaware, is the German word for that feeling you get. It's, it's joy at the misfortune of others. A wise man once told me that. Okay, good thing it came now and not later. True, but this brings later far closer. This still smells good. Oh no, deadly. <laughs> you guys did an actual pepper eating contest? Oh god, that sucks. So this is water, jalapeno peppers, and sugar. Okay. We're already getting the jalapenos? Are you serious? All right, I'm saving up for later. I'm a herder boy. <laughs> oh, this one, this one's drippy. This one's drippy. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Nice, nice drippy, nice coating. Hopefully, that's enough to sate you, savage beasts. That one's subtle. That one's. Mm. It's nice. A little hotter than the bacon. It's a soft heat, though, if that makes sense. Like, it's not burning my throat at all. It's... I don't know how to describe it. That's good, though. It's not, like, super sweet. It's the lime. It's very chilly, very light lime, which I think is the right way to do it. This is... I might keep this one. I might... No, it's actually the opposite, Will. It's not... Oh, I see what, well, I see what you're saying. Sort of an intense warmth. I guess it feels like something's giving my tongue a hug. That's a good way to put it. Like, my tongue's hugging 
a fuzzy cactus. You know, not the kind that'll actually like sting you, but you know the cactuses that are just kind of like fuzzy sharp? It's like I'm licking one of those. <laughs> Is that weird? It's the best way I can describe it. Okay. Shouldn't you be eating the entire bottle of sauce? Yeah, allow me to just drink this. <laughs> Next one, which we're only $45 away from, uh, sriracha. And it's not, not your typical sriracha. This is like a sriracha hot sauce, which is made with... There's no, um... That's weird. Um, the last one will give your tongue a suplex. Eat the whole thing, glass and everything. Uh, uh, is it, thank you, Fry, for another five. Is it just me, or is our boy looking more like Stephen Amell? Who's Stephen Amell? I'm definitely, I'm definitely not looking it up. Uh, a Canadian actor. Oh, I see it a little bit. If I, if I buzzed my head a little bit, if I had a longer beard and I buzzed my head, I could actually see that a lot. Interesting. All right, I don't hate it. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> um, but what's really weird, <laughs> Nathan just mind blown. Um, I'm here because I thought no one was going to Gareth, why would I ever? I would not wish drinking these upon my worst enemies. I don't care how light the hot sauce is. If you're drinking hot sauce, you're going to damage yourself. That's how you get ulcers. By all means, have a chicken strip, but eat the entire bottle of sauce. I'll be done in under three. If I'm done in under three hours, Srivasu, then hey, it looks like Gen Con's not gonna put a huge dent in my wallet. <laughs> um, but so wait, wait, wait. I'm really confused. Because, uh, what's 10 in French? Uh, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit. I only know up to eight. I, uh, wait, ne? It's ne, right? Mora! What's 10 in French? It's. Uh Thanks, he said we know. Dees. 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 You're watching? I'm watching you. Oh, we got a private message from Nathan saying, Your French is good, girl. Ah, c'est bon, merci. Uh, je play a French maid sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Omelette de fromage. Just sing the Hamilton song? I can't, I'm allergic to bad music. By the way, that's my girlfriend. I don't know if you guys have seen her, because she hasn't been in a lot of uh, videos recently. I feel like the last time she was on a video, we only had like seven or 8,000 subscribers. So a lot of you might not have seen her before. <laughs> Sorry, I hate Hamilton. Hamilton is the worst. Um, what's the money's goal? Okay, oh yeah, I never actually got here. Wait, wait am I here? Are we? Wait, what's happening? Wait, wait, are we here? Are we good? Okay, we're, what just happened? I think we're good. Okay, thank you. That was terrifying. My my stream crashed for a second. Uh, someone asked me something that I was gonna say. Um, oh, what was I gonna say? Oh, what's the money's goal? Okay, so I never got around to saying this because people dumped a bunch of money at me at the same time, and it was terrifying. Um, for five hundred dollars, if we reach five hundred dollars, which we're already halfway there, I will let. That's gonna happen a lot today. I will let the YouTube audience decide my next video. I'm going to be posting a community poll. Yo, see you later, Revieri. Thank you for your generous donations. Have a good one. I'll be here for six hours still if you come back. Um, if we hit $500, I will post a community poll, not a community poll, a community post on the YouTube channel. And the most liked comment on that post will be the next video I make. So people can leave their own options and like other options, and the most liked will be picked. 
This means you can't all just leave and like your own post, otherwise there won't be a winner. <laughs> How dare you hate Hamilton? Look, I don't, I mean, part of it's because I don't like rap, but also I just don't like the music and I'm not into the story. I've tried to get through the soundtrack three separate times and I can't, I can't even get through the first act. Um, I should play the French Maid for money? It depends what you're paying me for. <laughs> How much you're paying me. Um, yeah, we actually do need to get another costume. Not in a weird way. We do need a new French Maid costume. <laughs> um, I used to, and my girlfriend still does, murder mystery theater before the world blew up. Um, and then when we had our apartment fire, we lost a lot of our costumes for that. One of which happened to be a French Maid. Um... Yes, Paul, the community could vote for how Hamilton relates to Pathfinder and what class each character would be. Yes, you could. You won't, but you could. <laughs> um, now, if I'm listening to a, a, a musical while I'm showering or driving, it's probably going to be Heather's, Putnam County Spelling Bee, uh, Les Miserables, or... Those are the three big ones lately. I've been listening to a lot of Friday Night Funkin' because it's just good. <laughs> mm. Yeah, no, the the apartment fire sucked, but we 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 recovered and we're we're doing really well. We've we've replaced almost everything in no small thanks to you guys and your support of the channel. So thank you sincerely. Whether or not you've donated or anything, if you watch my videos, thank you so much. You help pay my rent, even if you don't even realize it. So thank you. Um, <laughs> Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit. Uh, <laughs> Will with the 25 bones, I just want to thank you for not saying cats. I have, I have never listened to cats. I didn't see the movie remake. I haven't seen it live. I haven't seen anything or listened to it. I should someday because that's a classic. But yeah, I have never seen or read cats. So fun. Uh, dude, yeah, Cherry, Friday Night Funkin' uh, Boyfriend canonically was in a relationship with Pico. Pico and Boyfriend were together in high school, which is such an awesome piece of canon that's, like, hidden. You have to dig for it or just, you know, watch uh, Game Theory. I haven't watched Game Theory in forever. I kind of lost interest. And not, I, don't, I don't dislike MatPat or his wife. I guess I, maybe I grew out of it? I don't know. Game Theory itself just kind of lost its appeal for me, and I don't exactly know why. Avenue Q, that's when I was totally forgetting toll. Thank you. Avenue Q is spectacular. Uh, and I would love to play Brian in like 10 years. Um, how old is he? 42? 33? Broken, unemployed, and turning 33. It sucks to be me. That's the one. All right. So, five years. <laughs> Um, Matt Pat's very kid show over the top. It is over the top, yeah. He does, yeah. Which, you know, you have to respect that. Yeah, they have to do what gets the views, what gets the click through. As a YouTuber, I respect it. Even if I don't personally enjoy it, I respect the game, I respect the hustle, and you have to do what you, you know, you have to do what you have to to make ends meet, especially as your channel grows and you keep hiring more staff, you try doing more fancy stuff, you do need to cater to your audience, which is unfortunate. It's an unfortunate truth of the entertainment business. You know, why do you think so many movies, so much comedy is lowbrow, it's easy, it's fart jokes, it's low-hanging fruit, the internet is for porn? <laughs> um, the reason that all is is because it hits the most common denominator, which changes depending on your medium. If it's YouTube, the common denominator is children. There's no getting around that. So if you want to make the big YouTube bucks and you want to explode on YouTube, you have to cater to the children. And that's memes, that's big flashing lights, wacky edits, over-the-top comedy. And it's often hard to take that kind of thing seriously, but you have to, and it's sad. Amen. Gotta grind. Exactly. Respect the grind. Yeah. Luckily, I'm in a place where right now I can sort of... I mean, I'm not, I'm not bending and caving to the algorithm as much as I could. You know, if I wanted to really cave to the algorithm, I'd probably do a hard shift into content that 
Honestly, most of you probably wouldn't find interesting. My average demographic is late 20s to early 40s. That is like 75% of my audience, and I respect you. And I'm not going to betray my audience just for the algorithm, especially when I am making enough money to survive. Am I making millions of dollars? No, absolutely not. <laughs> but I respect my audience too much, so cheers to you guys, and thank you for continuing to support me. Speaking of which, even tied with $5, I do need to listen to Dear Evan Hansen. I have not actually sat there and listened all the way through, uh, and that is something I need to fix. Hmm. Oh, that's right, Dear Evan Hansen is doing a movie where, like, a 35-year-old actor is playing the high schooler, which is weird. Um, the suggestion was to play the French maid, not wear the French maid con- Well, if I don't have a costume, how do you expect me to get into character, Chris? <laughs> um, let's see. If you wanted the big money, you'd be a 5e channel? Yes and no. 5e is oversaturated at this point. If you'll notice, even the bigger 5e channels are swapping. Um, XP to level 3 is doing a lot of D&D, uh, still primarily D&D, &D, but you know, he's, he's focusing elsewhere. He's doing his Lord of the Rings, he's doing his comedy skits, he's doing his podcast. Because the oversaturation of the market has almost in some ways killed 5e's presence on YouTube. It's tough, and it's kind of sad. But it, it definitely still has its place. You know, there's still an audience, people still watch those videos. But it's not as big as it was, like, uh, like three years ago. Three years ago, 5e YouTube was the height, and it was insane. Uh, yeah, 5e is oversaturated. I do like 2e's potential for long-term growth. I think Pathfinder 2e, if it catches on, I, I, you know, it, it's been rolling. Hopefully that, that snowball will keep getting bigger and bigger. Uh, but even at the rate it's going, it's been getting bigger and bigger, which is really nice. Um, 2e has the potential for long-term. Is it a guarantee? No. Nothing is. People could lose interest in Pathfinder 2e, and my channel would plummet into the ground two months from now. Uh, but I don't think that's going to happen, because while Pathfinder 2e and Paizo as a whole doesn't have the biggest audience, it does have a very dedicated and devoted audience, which I like to think helps slip into my audience, and, you know, I get that feeling from you guys, so I'm... You'll learn this about me. Donated money and things make me very, very emotional. And I love you guys, so thank you for your support. I'm going to try not to, cl to cry today. I might. We'll see. <laughs> You're still in high school. You found it a month ago. Yo, that's awesome, Sith. Let's go. Cheers. Hope you enjoy the system. Uh, the only thing 5e has on Magic is the Magic the Gathering. Oh, dude, the Magic the Gathering setting looks so cool. Oh, my word. I'm so, I'm so excited. Um... PF2 YouTuber space is still very open. There are plenty of people, but it still feels very homely. That's true. Everything about the Pathfinder YouTuber space feels very, very personal, which I enjoy. And I feel bad that I can't interact with it more. I've been so busy, and I've been I've been struggling to get out my own content that collaborating with other people is really t <laughs> Thank you for the $10 donation, Mora. That's my girlfriend, for those of you. who she, she was just over here. She went over there and just gave me $10. <laughs> And that's gonna push us. What? Now I have to do hot sauce. I don't know if she realized she pushed me over the 300 mark. Uh, there's always going to be new additions. I think we'll do fine as long as we keep our passion. That's what it's all about. So many people, you gain an audience by talking about something topical and something that people relate to. But oh, hello. I realized. I realized it. What? You asked if I realized if I pushed you over the edge, and I said I, I did. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat my hot sauce now. She's on the floor. She broke the fan. Seven and a half years. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Annie, she's the best cryptid ever. <laughs> uh, 
No, she broke my biggest fan! How dare she? Um, anyway, what were we talking about? We were talking about something... Oh, yeah, yeah, as long... You, you gain an audience by talking about something topical. You keep an audience by passion and quality. Whoo! That's not... That's not sriracha. I don't know what that is. That ain't... Oh, it tickles. All right. I don't know what this is. It says sriracha. It's not sriracha. Let's go. Nice, healthy dog. Oh, is this thick? Yo, how many C's? Yo, that is some thick so Oh, there it goes! Okay. Got a nice slather on there. I can do a little more than that. I just don't want to set a precedent, because the bigger sauces, a little goes a long way. Or for these early ones, thick sauce. Oh! Oh! It's almost... It's like sour? Oh! That's like someone was making hot sauce. <coughs> mm. Someone was making hot sauce, and they knocked the vinegar over, and they like caught it halfway through, <coughs> and just let like, but they kept making the hot sauce. You know, they put in like three times too much vinegar. That's not good. That's bad. That's real bad. Yo, Dez with the 999, thank you for the donation toward the upkeep of my Chaos Gnome. I love my Chaos Gnome. She's fantastic. Looks like barbecue. They all kind of look the same. Like, I think they all have the same base. They're all, like, tomato paste base. Like, these are the three we've just had. They literally all look almost exactly the same. Um, those of you who have just joined, so far we have had bacon was level one. Then we moved on to chili lime, which was fantastic. And then sriracha, which was not fantastic. And it just tasted like spicy vinegar, which I don't recommend. Not recommending that at all. Sounds interesting. I love both, but I'm not sure if they would be good together. It wasn't to me. I think on the right thing it could be good, but on a heavily breaded nugget, which by the way, no, these are not Popeyes or anything. These are just bag of frozen nuggies. Um, popcorn chicken specifically. Um, it wasn't good. It wasn't good on this particular chicken. Mm. <laughs> Oops, all vinegar. Uh, no, no, I'm going to make a YouTube channel dedicated to folklore, pop media, RPG monsters, and how you can write them in an interesting way. I love it, Cherry. That's fantastic. I would watch that. Especially, yeah, no, unique ways. Because that's a series I tried once. I don't know if people remember the one video I made about a monster. It underperformed. Uh, but it was really fun. Uh, I don't remember what the monster was. Like, the, the gardener, the death gardener or something. But, um, Yeah. Uh, no, that sounds awesome. I would love to see more videos about specific monsters and unique ways to use them. Uh, if you keep a cup of milk by the side, is it cheating? No, but I am going to see how far I can go before I need to get the milk. My tongue is starting to tickle. I can still feel the sriracha, and it's only going to get worse. But I'm still good with my ice water. Favorite PF2 race. That's a tough one. I don't know if I have a favorite... I do love kobolds, though. Kobolds have a special place in my heart. At the same time, I think it has to be gnomes. Pathfinder gnomes, specifically, are so cool. Their lore is amazing. I'm into the bleaching. I love their connection to the fae. It's so well expressed, and I just love Pathfinder gnomes. Hmm. We have a great day the stream. See you later, Srivasu! Enjoy watching the rest of tomorrow. It'll be great. Uh, more like Sauracha. You're banned. Jason Bowman was right. He warned us about the quality of these sauces. Yeah, these aren't designed to be good sauces. They're designed to be, like, hot. Not familiar with sriracha? Sriracha is, um... What's the, it's made with a specific pepper. It's not Szechuan, is it? It's, it's an Asian hot sauce. Uh, specifically Vietnamese, I think. Um, it's usually pretty good. It's usually very sweet. This was just sour. Did I see the Gordon Ramsay wing challenge? No, I have not seen that one. I'll have to look that one up. Hmm. Unless you mean Gordon Ramsay on Hot Ones, in which case I did see it and it was great. Um, I've never played a Blood Rager. Blood Ragers are so cool. Now, is that the dwarf one? Is that the, the spiked dwarf Rager? Was that the Blood Rager? 
Tiefling, Asimar, Kitsune, and Half Elves. I'm weak for Kitsune. I don't think I can. I don't think I'd play a Kitsune, but I'm still weak for them. Don't look them up. <laughs> uh, least favorite is probably still Hobgoblins. Unfortunately, I don't have any hatred for them. I just don't like their design. They're just goblins, but tall. <laughs> uh, making homebrew Pathfinder setting. Any tips? Sriracha tie. Uh, tie. Okay, gotcha. Uh, homebrew Pathfinder setting. I don't think my advice is any different than any other fantasy realm. I'm not the guy to ask about homebrewing a setting, though, because I almost always use the base setting, but change what I like. I change whatever I want about the setting, but I use the base setting so that I don't need to come up with things. I can just tweak it as I see fit. Yo, Phantom Prince with the $20 dono. I'm sorry your monster vid didn't go well. I was so inspired by that one in particular. You gave an idea for a story arc around it, and I'm working it into your game. Let's go! That's so cool. Which one? The, um... Like, like, farmland, farmers being attacked? That one? Oh, cause that's such a fun one. Uh, Knoll's gonna be fun. Uh, Blood Rager was Sorcerer Barbarian. I did take a look at that. Yeah, actually, that does ring a bell, now that you've explained that. That's right. 20 buck blast! I am counting down the minutes that my tongue won't throb. Because after, like, like two or three more sauces, my tongue will be throbbing for the rest of the night. I remember when I had the hottest hot sauce, which I don't want to spoil yet. When I had the hottest hot sauce, um, my tongue was throbbing for, I think, an hour. Which was rough. Uh, I'm spending my lunch break watching you eat frozen tent- They're not froze! I cooked them, Des! <laughs> they were cooked tendies! <laughs> don't, don't quote me saying throbbing tongue. Uh, what do you think about modules tending to use one big monster with such a ridiculous to hit they might as well not roll? I don't mind it. I absolutely... <laughs> Bree just to beat Des and Mar <laughs> Hi, Bree. Thank you for the $10 donation. That's my DM, by the way, in my 5e game. Oh, hello, Bree. They were once frozen, yes. I was also once not alive, but now I am. <laughs> Please just keep saying throb. Um... I combine everything from both D&D and Pathfinder lore so my players can't figure out anything. I love that. That is such a smart way to do it, is to combine them. Uh, I always just flip things and change things around as much as I can. Um, not as much as I can, but as much as, whenever I feel like it. It's always to the point where my players can't go, uh, that monster doesn't work that way. And I go, that's what you thought. <laughs> spent $30, thanks. That's true, Brie. Dez has spent 30 She started with a nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> Mm. Does the Scoville have? Does the sauce have a Scoville? The last one. I don't want to. I should spoil it. I should spoil what y'all are working to. So just to show, this is the hottest hot sauce in box. This is spontaneous combustion. It is made with capsaicin extract. One million Scoville. There is no flavor. There is no taste. It's just fire. That is the hottest hot sauce. We are still, thankfully, $850 away from that. So maybe we won't hit it. But luckily if we do, I can pay for my medical bills. <laughs> Um, right, exactly. That's the thing, Misfit. They're just extracts. They're not flavor. Like, let, let me see. Is there, are there ingredients on this? There has to be. Water, habanero pepper, vinegar, capsaicin in extract, xanthan gum, and then carrot, salt, garlic, spices. It even says, caution, extremely hot. Not like on the bottle. In the ingredients, it says, caution, extremely hot. Uh, Cherry, I believe it is on par with the Carolina Reaper. Or is the Reaper 5 million? Um, let me see. The Carolina Reaper... Eh. <laughs> the Carolina Reaper is 500,000. This is a million. No, wait. No, sorry, sorry, no. Reaper is 2 million. I misread the, the article. Sorry. Reaper is 2 million. This is 1 million. So this is not quite, not quite a Reaper. Um, thank God. Uh, prepares to get, uh, me and my toilet are gonna get to know each other tomorrow, it's fine. 
It's fine. We'll, we'll hang out. I'll bring my entire... I'll just bring my bestiary in there and study up. <laughs> Disclaimer, I don't have insurance. You know? You're not wrong. I don't... Okay, I don't think the last dab was hotter, Paul. Uh, the last dab, triple X. It was great. The last dab from, from Hot Ones is amazing. Apparently, it's two million. It didn't taste like it. The last dab did not taste like it had two million. It was really good, though. It tasted really good. It hurt, but, you know, it wasn't bad. And thank you, Eventide, for another five. There is a pure sauce out there that's just a puree of Reaper and vinegar. Hard past. Hard past. Thank you very much. Last dab covers the heat a lot. And it's more of a slow burn. Gotcha. That, it is a slow burn. I'll give it that. It does last longer. Um, they specifically make theirs have high heat with flavor. Gotcha. Okay. That's probably why these ones hurt so bad at the end. Because they aren't. They don't have flavor. So there's nothing to focus on. There's nothing to cover it. It's just pain. Um, yeah. A lot of people on Hot Ones don't even make it to the last daz. The last daz. Da last dab. Des. <laughs> um, a lot of people quit before that, which is hilarious. Uh, I'm just drinking uh, flavored water right now. Just mango pineapple water. Uh, I'll be drinking for the majority of the stream, but we'll see. Is that because when you reached it, you couldn't feel flavor properly anymore? No, it's because they don't have flavor. Again, there's nothing in this that gives it flavor. There's water, habaneros, vinegar, capsaicin extract, xanthan gum. And then a little bit of carrots, salt, garlic, and spices. There's no flavor in here. It's just fire in liquid form. Uh, <laughs> Does Pathfinder 2 have a friendly fire mitigation system? Yes. I believe it is a feat. Uh, I know clerics get it with selective channeling. I don't know if wizards or sorcerers do. Can someone fact check that? Because clerics get selective channeling, where when they do, like, their big heal or their big harm, they can choose the targets rather than afflicting everything. I don't know about things like Fireball. Uh, yeah, no, Colorful Salmon, it's gonna be awful. If we get that far, it's terrible. I've had it before. It's awful. Uh, I found your channel about a month ago, and I've been absolutely devouring your content since. You're pretty much the only PF2 channel whose content I enjoy. That's too bad to hear. No, there's some great ones out there. There's Deadly D8, there's Local Disaster Tour Guide, there's uh, How It's Played, um, there's Black Dragon Gaming. They all have their own different styles, and different styles may not mesh with everyone, which is totally fair. Um, but no, there's definitely a lot of good ones out there. But again, you have to enjoy the style. Sorcerers do? I think so. <laughs> Carrot is a flavor. There's a point where a hot sauce stops being a condiment and is just an ingredient to add heat. That's fair. That is fair, and adding this to, like, a flavored chicken rub or something like that might be decent. Um, one A, one action harm is best harm? Yeah, it is. I love just, like, touch. Now your arm is rotten. Uh, attempt two. Random question. Do you have any pets? Not currently. We are planning to get a dog sometime soon, which would be amazing, and I could manipulate it for views. <laughs> Uh, Psionics would be cool. Eh, I'm here or there on Psionics. I'm not the biggest fan of Psionics. I've never felt the need to use them. Uh, and I've never actually used them in 3.5 or 1st Edition or anything like that. Um, I think the way Tasha's Cauldron did Psionics okay in 5e, but other than that, I'm just not a fan. They're too hard to balance. They don't, they don't fit my idea of fantasy too well. Um, I just found Knights of the Last Call. They have great videos about the third action. Really? I'll have to look them up. I've heard the name. I've never actually watched them, though. Um, Game Gorgon's great. Game Gorgon took a break, but I think they're back. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Game Gorgon just released a new video, like, a, a week or two ago. So that'd be cool. Dogs are awesome. Uh, I don't buy into those Scovilles they put on the bottles. I won't deny they're hot, just that the numbers seem... The numbers are arbitrary. There is, like, some kind of science that goes into the Scoville scale, but I think it's a personal thing. I don't believe that the Scoville scale actually has any, like... FDA confirmed scientific backing. Because if it did, it'd be, I think they'd be putting it on like Frank's Red Hot and stuff to give it, you know, that edge like, oh, Frank's Red Hot, 40,000 Scoville. Uh, but I don't think there's any FDA approved science done with the Scoville scale. Um, make an Instagram account for the dog. Um, oh, Sean Evans said in the last episode that it is indeed less hot. Interesting. Uh, that last dab is less hot than Da Bomb, even though it has higher Scoville. Interesting. 
Uh, superior cat squad. I would get a cat too if it wouldn't kill the girlfriend. The girlfriend is pretty allergic to cats and often gets sniffly and can't breathe all good. Uh, hello, Felipe. What's up? How's it going? Uh, I don't know what happened to my voice there, but apparently we're talking like this. Is there anything you'd want to see in 2E after the upcoming books? I don't know. That's where it gets really hard to expand. We've got the magic, we've got the technology. Maybe some more shamanistic stuff, a little bit more expansion on the witch, uh, depending on what we see in Secrets of Magic. But yeah, a little bit more... I don't know how to explain it, because there was a shaman in First Edition Pathfinder. I don't know enough about it, but some more... I don't know. I think I'd rather see more subclasses, more defined subclasses, but I don't think we need more classes. After we get the Summoner, Magus, Gunslinger, and Inventor, I think that's enough. I think 20 classes is enough for the system. I don't think we need more. That's good. Think we're ever going to see a 2E Inquisitor? Probably as a dedication, as an archetype, probably not as a class. Uh, yeah, all right, you said that already. Yeah, probably as an archetype. Uh, so the points are made up and the numbers don't matter? Pretty much. That's TTRBGs in a nutshell. Uh, I don't like Knights of the Last Call. They have a real right way to have is our way. Other ways are lesser. Ooh, I'll have to check them out, maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't think FDA cares about Scoville either. Uh, dude, Frank's Red Hot is so good. I love it. Frank's Red Hot is only 450 Scoville. It's only 450? Wow. I guess that's because it's mostly butter. I've made buffalo sauce before. That's basically... Uh, like, when I went to... When I worked in college, I worked in the uh, cafeteria. And I would help make the buffalo sauce. And it was just butter and hot sauce. And that made buffalo sauce. <laughs> Hashtag team dog. That's true. Dogs are great. I like both, though. I want both. Both is good. Both. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Wow, y'all are, y'all are fun. What? Yeah, I'll just won't let you know. Um, so an old can get a honey to familiar and they exist as animal companions. So you can just gang up on someone and keep doing the weird chuckle with the three of you. Yes! Oh my word. Give me a hyena, a, a knoll with two hyenas and just give me, give me a knoll with three hyenas. And you play a Scar and they'll be the three hyenas who work for Scar and Lion King. I love it. Um, which is your favorite swashbuckler subclass? That one's tough. I haven't gotten a chance to play it. Uh, it's also been a long time since I've looked at swashbucklers. Favorite swashbuckler subclass is probably... I like gymnast. Gymnast is fun because it encourages you to use athletics and you're a strength-based swashbuckler, which is cool. Um, other than that, I do like the diplomacy one that does bomb them all. Bomb them all swashbucklers are super fun. Uh, I'd love to see a true dedicated shapeshifter. I think that I don't think we're gonna get anything closer than the Wild Morph Druid. I could be wrong. Maybe we'll get like an actual shapeshifting race, which would be cool. But other than that, I don't know. Um, I think Dalek Reject. I think Streamlabs might auto hide links. I'm not sure. Uh, butter dog, dog with the butter, <laughs> butter dog. Oh, Ranch and Buffalo is a match made in heaven. It's also terrible for you, and I love it. Yo, what's up, Blackwing? It's been a little bit. Been a hot minute. Oh, my golly, G. Skullville is a dilution scale. How many times one needs to dilute an extract to stop feeling the hotness? Weird. I don't know what that means. Ben? Ben, I... I can't even ask if there was an extra zero, because for some reason you donated a hundred dollars and one cent! We now have... I mean, that's technically the highest donation of the day. You have beat out Misfit by one penny to be the highest dono. My word. A second hundred buck blast. This is insane. We're just gonna knock these out early, all right. Cajun sauce. What's interesting to me is that Cajun is less spicy than original. Original will be coming up next, but for now we have Cajun, which hopefully will be good. Uh, eat. 
that! Sauce! My favorite game show. <laughs> the one scent is the best scent. Oh boy. Oh wait, they introduced spell card decks? Wait, as like a game mechanic? Because they already had the spell decks as like an actual item you I think you could buy. Also, sorry, uh, I got so distracted by the sheer amount of money you threw at me, I didn't answer your question. Um, any mega regions you want a book for after the f Kadira. I want Kadira and Taldor and that whole eastern desert region of the inner sea region. I want so much information on that. Because I have actually run a campaign um, in Kadira, and it went from Kadira to, Ka to Taldor. It was a bunch of fun. I loved it. it was, uh, the first campaign I ever ran for Pathfinder 2e, I would just love to know more about that area, because I love desert regions. I really love deserts in a tabletop RPG. <laughs> Quadira! Uh, yeah, sort of the Golden Road, and then Kadira's across the water to the east. There's Kadira, and then a whole lot more desert to the east of that. I can't pay you with PayPal? Bulwark, if you would like to pay me with PayPal, you absolutely could. Um, if anyone would rather donate directly, I don't think it'll show up um, on stream, but I can manually input it. Um, I think that's the right command. I hope that's the right command. <laughs> It'd be awkward if it wasn't. Um, did I get the 1e... E there, like, there was a Kadira book in 1e... E there it is. There's the PayPal. Uh, there was a 1e e Kadira book? Really? I never knew that. That's awesome. <laughs> I'll need to look into that. Um, but yeah, no, if you send it via PayPal, I'll get a notification on my phone. I can add it in manually, and it will increase the bar. Thank you. Um, whew. That is smoky. That's super smoky. Um, that's a good size. That's a good size. I think I can do a lot of this one. This one doesn't smell too bad. Give it a nice, get a nice, oh, nice little blanket. Nice little sauce blanket. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's got a hidden kick! Mmm. <coughs> oh! Woo! Alright, Cajun. Alright! That- I did not expect that one to kick so hard! Wow! What was in you? Habanero pepper, jalapeno pepper, tomato paste. Black pepper, white pepper. Huh. There's the instant regret we're here for. <laughs> mm. And that is the last of the easy sauces, chat. We are done the easy sauces. We are on to the hot sauces. That was four out of 12. It wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. And this chicken was the best idea. Um. It wasn't bad at all. No, I had, um... But it was also really hot. Like, hotter than it should have been. I'm scared. I don't remember that one being that hot. <laughs> Sneak attack for bonus damage. Mmm. Eventide, thank you for another $1.49 donation. You are too kind. Thank you. <laughs> Misfit dropping the $5. Oh, two. <laughs> Oh my word. My DM said she'd give you a hundred platinum in your Wednesday game. This is me paying you to hold her to it. <laughs> Fantastic. Also, I don't think I ever said hi to you, Cat. What's up, Cat? It's so amazing to see you. I've seen you here the whole time. I've been very busy talking to things, but it's amazing to see you. I've known Cat here in chat for a long time. She's wonderful. Um, Miss what you've been tricked. But all right, hey, if Bree's gonna give me a hundred platinum, let's go. Does my does my character have to do a bunch of hot sauce to get to get the money? <laughs> Will Sinclair have to do the my hot sauce challenge too? Um, just dropped five dollars on PayPal. Want to cut out the YouTube middleman? Yo, let's go. I'll 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 get the I'll get the boop boop. <coughs> I've got money, chat. Thank you for the five dollars. <laughs> It just says hot sauce. Hot sauce in all caps. Oh my word. Thank you, Robert. I appreciate it. Uh, my producer will get that in automatically if it doesn't automatically work. Hmm. I just have to win against Rhoda? Good, I already did that. I've already done that. Uh, so Sinclair was the character we were playing in my Kingmaker playthrough. Uh, but 
I am also playing a Leonin fighter named Sinclair in my D&D 5e game, and he has been so much fun and already one of my favorite characters I've ever played. Hmm. That's true, Josh. Josh makes a good point. If you would prefer, you can absolutely donate via PayPal instead of YouTube uh, Super Chat. Uh, YouTube does take 30% of the revenue I make off this stream. I, I was originally like, ooh, that's really bad. But then I realized Twitch has it even worse. Fun fact. Did you know that Twitch subscriptions, the $5 a month Twitch sub... The creator only sees half of that. The creator only gets 50% of your monthly sub. So I'm like, 30% is not that bad, you know? But yeah, here, I'll, um, I'll even add it into the, um, I'll add it into the, I'll put it one more time in chat, and then I'll add the link to the description of the stream if anyone wanted to go there easily. Yeah, I mean, so the reason for that is because of how convenient it is, Blackwing. Um... It's it's unfortunate that it's so convenient, uh, but yeah. Can you can't you can you pin? Oh, I've done it. I pinned a message. Look at me, chat. Oh, that burn is still kind of there. Ooh, nice. All right, cool. It's there. If you guys want to donate, you can also use that one. Thank you. Now I'm gonna need to keep an eye on my phone. <laughs> uh, cool, cool, cool. Oh my word. <laughs> Hacker man. <laughs> oh my god, my nose. Uh, been alright, still trying to hit my book goal for the year. Ooh, yeah, did you hit your 100 books? It was, what, 100 books in one year, cat. I hope you hit it. Uh, sorry, Josh asked something earlier. Josh asked something earlier, and I was going to respond. Ever run a chase or infiltration? I have sort of run a chase. It wasn't a massive chase, but it was the party chasing after an enemy. And... I didn't have them roll initiative. I kept character movement speeds in line in mind. Like I knew the monk was faster than I knew the monk was faster than the creature they were chasing. So over time, he just started closing in on this creature they were chasing, and it was all a roleplay thing. You know, I, I had them I kept asking what each person was doing, almost like taking a turn, but not quite. Um But I still ran it as a roleplay experience. If someone piped in wanting to do something, they got to do it right then and there if they had a really good idea and it made sense. Uh, overall, when it comes to chases, I don't like doing initiative because it takes away from the urgency of the chase. Can I have more water, please? Yeah, he's just because his nose is running. Thank you. I would like mango pineapple meal with four ice cubes, madame. Do I look like I'm wearing a French maid costume? You don't own one. <laughs> Oh my god, thank you Reaper for $5. What do you think Mythic and PF2 will be? Just turning on all the power boost rules like Race Paragon and Free Archetype? I don't know. I don't know if we'll get a Mythic in PF2. Um, I would kind of hope they would just release more feats. I think it would be really cool if they... Thank you. Uh, I think it would be really fun if they just released like 10 Mythic levels and each Mythic level had like one or two more options of feats. It'd be a lot, because I have to do it for every class, but it would be cool. I would like to see each class, like, you, you stop getting class features, and you can either go back and take other feats, or get even more powerful feats, something like that. Could be really, really fun. Um, and thank you, Ben, for another five. <coughs> mm. Kadira, Jewel of the East was the one e-book, and I lead again. <laughs> I see it. There's the 10501 right there. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you. Want some hot sauce? You know that would kill me, right? Wait, chat. Chat, someone no, donate no. someone donate five dollars right now and no. girlfriend will do the bacon hot sauce. Friends, five no. five dollars right now. Friends, Come on. Why? Someone drop five either on PayPal or here. And girlfriend will do the bacon hot sauce. Friends, it's the it's the it's the weakest one, you'll be fine. Yeah. She she can't she doesn't do spicy. Like, do she she struggles on spice. Friends, yes. Do the I thing. Know. Here's the thing. Capsules are so good. You could just like, keep, keep leveling at the current progression. They'd still go up in power drastically, just picking more cap. True. You'd have to limit it to like only one level 20 feet or something. $5? $5 gets us closer I, to the next sauce. This feels a lot like you're just like auctioning me off. 
Five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, <laughs> five dollars for the lady to do a shot of bacon hot sauce. But you get to eat a tendy. I do love tendies a lot. <laughs> I don't know. I'm cool just hanging out and like talking for a while. Uh, friendly. <laughs> yeah, you feel free to stick around. Yeah. Uh, friendly fire mitigation. Uh, clerics get it. I think sorcerers do too. Most spellcasters do not. Her pain has to be more than more. Than, hey, Paul. It would be Paul. It, it would be Paul. Would be. Grab a tendy, why don't you? My pain has to be worth more than five dollars. Mm. Thought I had $5, but no. Don't donate if you can't afford it. I should say that yeah, right up front. Right, right. This we is for, f you donate yeah. for fun, fun if you can afford it. And there's another five. <laughs> Thank oh, you, Jonathan. What a champion. <laughs> this is That's, number one. I love that is it. a very cute sheet. You have your tendy? I have a Show the class. Class, this is my naked tendy. <laughs> another five. Class. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll do another one with A her. healthy couple should share most things, including right. bacon. Since so many people donated, <laughs> I'll do I'll do the bacon hot sauce okay. with her. That's so cool. All right. Cheers. Cheers. All right, here's me eating hot sauce, probably mm. for the first time. Go for it. Mmm. <laughs> It's not that bad. It's not good. It's, it tastes like bacon. <laughs> it doesn't taste like bacon. It tastes a little bit like bacon. And yeah, Nathan, add all of these to the goal. It doesn't oh. taste like bacon. It just tastes like bacon. <laughs> it just tastes like bacon. <laughs> oh my God. And this is why I'm doing the challenge and she's not. Oh, the pain. <laughs> what the pain feels like. Someone maternal. <laughs> like, all this has in it is cayenne pepper. No habanero, no jalapeno, just cayenne. I'm gonna pull a child the buff. Look how sad I look. <laughs> Sad I look. Anyone who's seen the Shia LaBeouf hot ones? Oh my word. <laughs> Sorry, miss. Bacon blast. Prestidigitation hurt. Would that work? Prestidigitation can clean something. Could you clean your tongue with prestidigitation? <laughs> Is that a thing? She can <laughs> Hey, Goralin got the reference. Uh, Bacon Blast is my new favorite spell. Uh, is she from Canada? She might need maple hot sauce. You put a lot of meal in this. You asked for four cubes. Ah! <laughs> it's not even spicy. <laughs> you didn't ask how many meals you asked for four ice cubes. Does oh. purify food? Uh, no, because capsaicin's not a not a toxin. Oh yeah, true. Careful around the eyes. That's true. Yeah, don't, don't touch your eyes. Well, don't do it. I'm not, but I'm <laughs> crying. Um, do this if you reach the goal. Mad Dog 357 Plutonium number nine. Nine million Scoville. I still want to taste things on the next month. Thanks. <laughs> I like tasting things. Uh, it's like one of my, it's one of my like, top ten things. Yo, Ezekiel! What's up? Hello! Greetings. Ezekiel's my Twitter bug. What? Hi, Twitter bug. Can I have some water? <laughs> Wait, capsaicin is literally a toxin? Is it actually? I didn't think it was a toxin. I'll let her do the calculations. How many times the spiciest hot sauce is compared to the one she just had? Here, let's see. What's the Scoville of a cayenne pepper? <laughs> Oh, no. Cayenne pepper Scoville. A cayenne is 30,000. Okay. Um, what did I? So that's what you had. That's what I had. Yes. Okay. So, but this is this is made with cayenne. Like a, a, a straight cayenne is 30 to 50,000. Okay. This is made with cayenne. So it's diluted by the tomato paste and the vinegar and all that stuff. Yeah. And the one of the ingredients is just bacon flavor. <laughs> Bacon fl Wait. Hi, Brie, for amusing me with the gnome suffering. Aw, that's our DM. Uh, and thank you, Nedironable? Nedironable? Ned Declassified School Survival <laughs> Wait, did we just pass 500? Yeah, I think so. And oh, no. Now you gotta have some more. And now I got my gnome voice on. <laughs> okay, hand me a nug. I'll, uh, try, I'll even try the second one because people were, did donate a lot to me. So okay, I'll well, try the, the. All right, so are we? Are you doing the second one first, or am I doing this one, or are we doing them at the same time? I don't know. Vote. Uh, capsaicin is a toxin. Pepper plants evolved it to deter mammals from eating their fruits, and that's why we eat them. 
<laughs> share the sauce. Share. share. You want this one? No, I don't. I don't want that. I don't think I'm that a big girl yet. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I can handle I'll that. I'll make a man <laughs> out of you. DMCA. Uh, same time. All right. People want round five to be at the same time. So, right. she, so mm -hmm. she's doing the chili lime, really sit next to you which I think you'll enjoy. I think you might actually like this one. Okay. Um, I am just doing original. Whatever this means, we'll find out. I'm. No, oh, no, no, what have I done? Did you manage to hurt the switch again? After I moved it's it. It's been through a lot. Oh, I'm man. just trying to like sit like a person instead of like just side eyeing the chat. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> you have to sign a contract to buy some hot sauce? That's insane. Oh, I, that's I believe wild, it. That's wild, man. I uh, believe it too. All right. So wait, so which one's happening? At the same time. Same time. Okay. So get me a nuggy. Right, would you like a Ooh, nuggy or that's, a small nuggy? Here. That smells. Have your choice of nuggy. Oh, my own choice from the nuggy bowl. <laughs> it's like Halloween. It's like Halloween. Can we give out chicken nuggies for Halloween? <laughs> no, I don't think the children would enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Another dollar from Misfit. Thank you. All right. Thanks, so, yeah, God. I'm doing original, which yeah. is made with... Uh, what's this one made with? This one's made with habanero... This one's just habanero. And, oh, and some serrano pepper in mine. Okay. And what was this one? Wait, it says take me with you. They all say that because they're travel sized. Oh, so it's condoning you bring it into a restaurant? <laughs> I think people do that. All right, y'all. So here's here's my here's my oh. nice slather of original sauce. Right. That's a thick sauce. Oh, mama. Oh. All right. Here oh. he go. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, <gasps> no, I got some on my fingers. I can't touch my face. <laughs> It's not, you're not going to die. I might. All right. Shall we? Let's show. Dink my wrist. Dink it and sink it. <laughs> and sink it. That's pretty good. The flavor on this one is better. Mm. Mm -hmm. I do like mm. the flavor. This one is interesting. This one's like pretty standard. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Who reacts to... <laughs> <laughs> Who reacts to spicy food? Ah. Okay, I'll know I guess. This um, one is not as bad as the Cajun. Interesting. Yeah. This one's like pretty standard fair hot sauce. Like, when you think of hot sauce, that's what this tastes like. I don't think that helps you envision it, but maybe it does. I don't know. Huh. Your GF is five years old. As far yes. as spicy foods are concerned, yeah. True. Yeah. Um, I love that LGBT stands for let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. <laughs> I like that. Mm. She never had hot sauce. Yeah, oh, she knows not to touch her eyes. She knows. Yeah, I know. I, just because I know, though, doesn't mean I've told my hands, so. That's true. Your, ants, your hands and feet all move separate from your brain. They do. Um, <sighs> do we have milk? We do. I don't need it yet. <laughs> um, but just so chat knows. Are you good? <laughs> you going to make it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have secrets of magic yet, Cesar, unfortunately. Um, just so people know, in $85, we'll already be at the wasabi sauce, which can't be good. So, don't use the restroom before washing your hands. Thank you, forehead. Ooh, that, yeah, that'd be a bad time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, should I wash my hands? If you want, do you plan to have more hot sauce? I don't know. Now I'm kind of in it. <laughs> are you gonna Are you gonna follow behind three steps behind me in the challenge? Is that a horrible idea? Chad, are you into this? Chad, do you like this or not? Chad, I'm so away. so I'm good going if we hit way. the next hundred, does she have to do the the sriracha? <laughs> Eat the red fire. <laughs> Follow him. Okay, but okay, I have the ice cream. You can have your ice cream. Yeah, I'm not. I sure. Have the don't don't talk like your tummy swollen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horrible idea, says Chris. Everyone else says do it. <laughs> okay. That's a lot. That's a lot of do it. That's, that's a. That's, Follow the leader. That's a lot of do it. Down the entire first bottle. No, God, no. Not like by no, itself. No, thank you. Not I by it itself. Into ice cream. Ew! I'm Wait, Armo says don't do it. Michael says no. Uh -oh. You're getting a lot of uh, mixed <laughs> mixed feelings. <laughs> um, so if we if we hit 600, she would be doing the third. If after, oh my god! What just happened? What just happened? Oh. 
Misfit with the $85 donation that just says die, Mora. I hate him so much. He, he's someone you know, isn't it? It's Alex. That's Alex? Oh. Jesus. Oh god. I just got a I just got an ice pop. Into the fiery pits of Mount. I just Doom. got an ice pop. What's oh, sad? Oh, guys, I did, uh, we're 100 pounds, but we already hit the $500 goal, which means. <laughs> hey, guys, it's been an hour. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> uh, so, um, that means that tomorrow or the next day, one of the two, I will be posting a community post asking for video ideas, and the most liked video idea will become the next video on the channel to be released next week. So, uh,. Get your ideas going. Get them, get them, get them churning. While I open the wasabi sauce and dread what happens next. Okay. Well. Okay. Oh, Streamlabs, I saw Cat. Cat did not spam symbols. Cat, can... come back to us. Cat just put three party poppers in Streamlabs. Is like banned. No parties for Cat. <laughs> no having fun. We're a real cat. Let's break the bar. Go past the top. The bar actually caps at a thousand. After that, it's all bonus. Yeah, we're doing this till, like, a while. Uh, the but... goal was to go till 8. If I die before that, I can't be held responsible. You don't have insurance. <laughs> I sure don't. <laughs> Parties Wait. are forbidden. No no having fun here. So this is mine? This is this one? This is yes, the one? that is Sriracha. Ah. All right. have, you had a, have you had a good sniff of it? A good sniff sniff? No, I haven't had a sniff sniff. Oh, that one's... Woo! I sniff that one? Ah! <laughs> Give me a nuggie. <laughs> Give me a nuggie. Give nug. All right. So you ready for that one? I think I am. I am brave. I'm a brave you're, girl. You're a brave girl. <laughs> no simple spam. All right. I need a nuggie. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and give this. I don't know why. I'm So it's red because it's all tomato paste base. But, oh, that's so much. Oh! See? My F! <laughs> guys, guys, can we get some... Can we get some Fs in the chat? <laughs> Pour one out for the F. Can we get some Fs in the chat? <laughs> Cause, oh, you don't get Fs in the chat. I don't. I. Uh, I don't. So, so Fs in the chat is a, an old meme at this point. Uh, but in a, a Call of Duty game from like a decade ago, uh, there was one moment where you're at a funeral and it says press F to pay respects. Oh. And ever since there, people have just been like F. Anytime something bad happens, it's always F. So I found it funny that the F just got totally wasabi. This one doesn't pour well. Careful. What, am I yeah. not supposed to put that much? No, you're fine, you're fine. I just didn't want it to go out everywhere. That's a thick uh. boy. You're going hard though, I respect. I'm brave. Shall we? Shall. Onto the breach. Mine? Doesn't hurt? Wait, lick it off? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't hurt that bad. I think it's because our tongues are already dead. No, it gets huh? worse. The wasabi just wasn't bad. I'm gonna do that again. Hold uh, on. Is this one actually amazing? Wait, wait, there it is. What? There it is, I found it. I found the hot. Oh, hold on. I'm doing this again. Y'all are seeing me pour it out of the wasabi bottle. It's just like not that hot. It's actually kind of good. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Yeah, this but... is the best one so far. It's got just enough kick, but it's sweet. <laughs> you get the sweetness of the horseradish, but not like the sourness. Come on, come back to me. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Yeah, this, I, I don't know why they call it wasabi. It's just because there's a little bit of horseradish in it, but it's much more of a a sweet sauce. That's really good. Uh, uh, if that one killed you, you better not do the next one. No, I don't do it. I'm better go. <laughs> All right, chat. If we hit seven hundred dollars, she'll do the Cajun one, I'm which is the hottest one I've had so far. I want to watch that happen. Come on, let's, let's watch over here. Watch wait for him. it, wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> the stream is on like a 10 second delay over here. 
So, I oh, just wanted to watch me bite it. <laughs> right. ah! this is, what an adventure we're having. What an adventure. Sweet horse riders feels like an oxymoron. I mean, I don't know. I can't. I'm always blurry. I hate it. Um, here, if I do this, I think I can fix it. Boop. Uh, boop. <clears throat> no, I need to. Give me a second, chat. So I can unblur myself. I need to deactivate camera. Bye-bye. And then reactivate camp. Where, where's the reactivate button? Oh God, Streamlabs. Uh, Streamlabs is frozen. Oh, we're back. Yeah, we're back. We're back. <laughs> Guess who's back? We're back again. Oh no, the hot sauce is getting affected. <laughs> it's affecting the camera. I do like spicy foods. I usually just can't handle it. I know. Um, like it's possible the tendies are helping. Cause last time I did this challenge, I did just do the hot sauce straight, and it was terrible. Um, if you cross multiple thresholds quickly, does that mean you take the hot sauce rapid fire? Like one after the other, yeah, I'll still give it the full experience. But there won't be a big gap between them. Which the next one, and I actually remember this one being bad. Like, like, burning. Roasted garlic. I remember this one burning pretty badly. That's true, fat does reduce the heat, and since it's fried chicken, there's a lot of fat in that. That's a fair point. Mm. Yeah, I feel like it's more fried than chicken. <sighs> it more is. It is more bread, bread than chicken. Yeah. But it still hurts. Like my tongue definitely tickles. And uh, we we are officially at the halfway point. From here, it gets worse. Have you tried garlic ice cream? Uh, what? No. Um, Have you? No. <laughs> why? Why is how about this? My tongue still hurts. <laughs> so. What was that? Wow. Will! Wow. Um. I don't know how I feel about this. Will, you're already a $50 patron! What um, is wrong with you? I have a lot of feelings. Eight hundred dollars clean. All right. Um. Oh. I want you to have fun at Gen Con since I can't go, uh, buddy. We'll have fun. We'll have a blast. So, we'll chat, prepare to get excited because first I need to do the roasted garlic. But Will just bought us all the way to the hot sauce from hell. Why does it say animation up there? Because it's a preset. Mm. Can I actually kill it? Oh, so I have to say something boop. else? Uh, boop. Oh, no, it kills the whole background. It's part of the background. <laughs> mm. All right. We're in intermission from your lives. That's true. Video idea, build a homebrew item to teach us. That'd be fun. <laughs> I'd do that. Oh, God. I d All right, so I'm going to win this one? Yep. That was a hot one, right? That was like a real Cajun's the worst one I've had so far. Well, it has a it, it doesn't last super long, but it punches you in the Bye Tom. I miss you. <laughs> Bye. I miss you too. <laughs> Double dip. You know what? He donated the money. Will, would you rather me do two wings with each like one wing each sauce or do you want both sauces on the same wing? Like a huge wing with both sauces, Will. This is your nuggy. And thank you for the three dollars, Phantom Prince. I appreciate it. Oh God! One wing per sauce. All right, all right. Yeah. This won't open. This one's being difficult. Do you need help? I have nails. I do too. Yeah. I have longer nails than you do. Wait, do you? Really? Yeah, I haven't clipped my nails in like two weeks. Oh. So I don't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> plus nails are useful. Nails are good for opening things. <clears throat> That's true. Will your GF be going to Gen Con 2? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> so. If so, uh, I want to see her say, Hi, are you Gary Gygax? <laughs> but that's an insult now. After what's, after all the junk that's happened on Twitter, that's like an insult now. Oh, because Gary Gygax. I don't want to get into yeah, it here, but no, yeah. I don't know. I want you to suffer, but I don't want you to suffer. Alright, we're doing one each. I will call him Jason Kalman, though. Oh, I, I called him Mr. Kalman earlier today. Yeah, 100%. Give oh, yeah, me sorry. the nugget! Yeah. 
Here's a nug for you. <clears throat> I'm not, I don't need to one bite this, but. Roasted garlic. Nice and healthy. Mine's doing drip. Mine's doing drippies. Wait. I gotta hurry. Uh, oh no, it's on my pants! These are my good pants! Nice healthy sauce there. Awesome sauce. Cheers! Cheers. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. How are you doing? Um. Oh, that's a... That's a... That's an even burn. That's an even burn. It's not like the most painful thing in the world, but it's burning the whole of my tongue just consistently. Or it's going down. How are you doing? Yeah? How's the Cajun? How's, uh, how's the Cajun treating you? <coughs> Give me another nuggy. Oh yeah, we have another one. All right. <laughs> Round two! Hold on, I need to open it first. <laughs> Burninating the countryside. Burninating the people and their thatch through cottages! Thatch through cottages! Oh! I have a sniff. <laughs> what was that? From the bottle, no nugs. I'm not insane. Give me a solid nuggie. That's a solid nuggie. It's like a it's like a cradle. Alright. It's yeah. like a it's like a perambulator. What are you doing? I gotta have a nice one, right? Oh you're going you're gonna keep going? Oh I'm my bro. I'm impressed. It's original. I'm impressed with you. Well done. Thank you. I'm going on this journey with you. You're not alone. I can't oh. carry you, Mr. Frodo, but I can <laughs> carry this nug. I cannot carry the sauce, Mr. Frodo, <laughs> but I can carry a nug to my mouth. All right, so this is the hot sauce from hell. Oh, it's very liquidy. There we go. Nice, nice, healthy drape. Are you pouring? Yeah. I've got a nice, healthy drape on mine. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh my Stop dripping it all over my keyboard! You've met me. <laughs> oh, I need a new keyboard. Thanks for buying me a new keyboard, Will. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'll get you. Cheers. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <coughs> oh no! Oh! Oh God! Okay. Ah! What are you doing? Stop throwing things! You need it feels like my tongue just did squats. You need milk? No, I'm a big. <laughs> if you want to get me some to have ready. Oh God! Ah! <laughs> it's the sound of a turtle dying. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Yeah, no, guys, I didn't expect to hit this point an hour and a half <coughs> in. I say no, that something is, it's getting worse! <coughs> ah! <coughs> but don't you feel alive? You've never looked so hot! I'm alive! Oh, I'm alive! New objective. 
survive. I'm not doing the milk yet. I'm trying. It's a personal okay. challenge to see how far I can go. Now roll three more fortitude saves. I had a little bit of milk. <coughs> I did. I had a little bit of milk. I'm alive. I'm alive, and I have a whole another hundred dollars to go before I need to worry about the devil's revenge. This one's next. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went. I haven't listened to that song in like a decade. I listened to it this morning. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was on. It came up on the playlist. <laughs> It burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. I think it's about a lady. I think the lady is the ring of fire? Yeah, I think it is. I listen to it a little closer. Or is it like a fear of commitment? Like Maybe. The ring? Is the like a wedding ring the ring of fire? Maybe. <coughs> I don't know. But I hurt. Really I'm bad. in pain. You're gonna keep going? I don't know. I mean. <sighs> the ring of fire is cocaine? Is it actually? Wait, is that true? Uh, the Metal Gear Rising Devil's Revengeance. I don't want to know how a lady might be the Ring of Fire. Oh, I haven't checked. Have I gotten any? Okay, no, I haven't gotten any PayPal donations. Okay. <coughs> did you eat Hell? Yes, we just did Hot Sauce from Hell. And then the next one up is Hot Sauce from Hell Devil's Revenge. Let me show y'all what's left to work towards. If we hit 900, it's Devil's Revenge. <coughs> if we hit 1,000, it's Ghost Pepper Sauce. If we hit 1,100, it's Ass Blaster Sauce. <laughs> Not kidding, that's the name. Mm. That one sticks, that one sticks. And then, if we somehow hit $1,200, it's spontaneous combustion, which is just pure extract of spice. How do we become a patron? You follow the link in the description to the No Not One's Patreon, and you choose a pledge level, and then you pledge to it. That, that one will... <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is a lot. I'm good. You good? I'm back. Are you okay? I'm fine. All right. Everything is grand. Everything is great. I mean, my keyboard's all muckered. I'm sorry. That I'll get a plenty. Before it dries. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars. Even tied hot sauce from hell to electric boogaloo. Why is it always electric boogaloo? Was there even a movie named Electric there Boogaloo? There was. Uh, can you get me a uh, a Q-tip? <laughs> Q-tip. Um. Of how it's been going, it's a when, not if we reach 1,200. <laughs> That's the nice thing about this stream. It'll teach me how to cast burning hands. Just not out of my hands. Yeah. Oh, is that a wet wipe? It's a wet wipe and some Q-tips and a burrito. Why did you grab a burrito from Throat Throw Burrito? It makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> you agreed to this. You I didn't know. have to. I never done anything like this before. Isn't it fun? <laughs> Reminder, it is possible to wash a keyboard in the dishwasher if done right. I don't trust it. But Paul's a computer. Is that Paul's <sighs> Is it too late to rename this show because I have an idea? Rename it to what? <laughs> Requiem for a stream. <laughs> Is it time to start playing a video game, or are we just gonna keep vibing here? So I'm fine with either, honestly. Ugh. I'm just gonna keep squishing a burrito. You squish that burrito. I'm just gonna... My tongue is cooling down, which is good. I feel better. Does your tongue feel okay? A video game? My tongue feels okay. My tongue actually feels pretty okay. I feel great. Do you have the stummies? I don't have a stummy, no. I, the stummy won't come till tomorrow. Dig in the vibing top? Play a rhythm game? <laughs> Right now. <laughs> I'd have to get it all set up. I can't do that. Uh, vibe is cool. Slay the Spire is better. Slay the Spire is good. I can, I can vibe and Slay the Spire, though. Right. So, yeah. I'm going to give you a burrito, and I'm going to go away. Okay. But this was a joy. 
Everyone say thank you to girlfriend for being such a good sport. Thanks everyone. She did it. See She's done the, it. See you on the other side. Claps for girlfriend. Let's get some claps for girlfriend. Um oh. <clears throat> I'll put my headphones on now. Oh, has the music still been playing this whole time? It sure has. I like how the music's just been this like casual vibe while I've been dying over here with my girlfriend. Okay. Pause the music. Slay the spire. So... <coughs> hootie hoo! Hootie hoo! She did more than she had to! Eh. Is there a fortitude save that would make an NPC fail a fortitude save? Uh, I can't read it apparently anymore. Good lord. Alright, over to the live screen. Oh. Uh, it should pop up here in a second. <coughs> there it is. Boop, boop. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank all of you very much. You've been incredibly, incredibly generous this entire hour and a half. You psychos. Uh, how's that? Is that good audio? Is that good audio level? Or is that super quiet? Can you guys hear the game? Can you hear the game okay? I can turn it up a little bit. Oh my god. I feel good though. I feel good. You can Perfect. Alright, cool. Um, what'd you miss? We're playing Slay the Spire. Awesome. Uh, so, I've been at Ascension level 20 with the Silent. Forever. A20 is the final, like the hardest level in the game. You have to beat the game 20 times on all the lower levels and it gets harder and harder and harder. And I can't beat A20. So we're gonna try to do it today while choking on hot sauce. That's the plan, at least. Uh, for those of you who've never played Slay the Spire, it is a roguelike, which means whenever you die, you start the whole game over. Um, but, uh, yeah, and you it's also a deck builder. You Every time you finish a fight, you get a new card, you get relics, which gives you permanent upgrades. It's really cool. Today's the day. Let's do it, Cookie Ghost. Uh, to answer the question from 20 minutes ago, I had to read 14 books last December, but I did hit my goal of 100. Let's go, and you're doing it again! Oh, my word, cat! You are freaking inspirational. Alright, uh, don't want to upgrade a card on the silent. Uh, I've got, uh, hot take, roguelike doesn't mean anything specific. Roguelike just means every time you play the game, you start over. And that the game is short and meant to be replayed. Um... It's been on my radar. Dude, all right, let's see if we can sell you on it, Jake, because this is probably my favorite game of, like, the last two years. Last three years. Uh, Jacob, I have every achievement in the game. I can show you here. Uh, I have every achievement except for Beat Ascension 20. That is the only achievement I am missing. Complete Ascension level 20 and obtain all other achievements. Today's the day. Uh, I don't- I might take a 250 gold. Where's the nearest shop? There's a shop right there. There's two shops. I think it's 250 gold. Let's take two shops. Give me a showcase to sell you on it. Let's go. So, keep in mind, I am playing on the hardest difficulty. Which means... <clears throat> there are more elites. Normal enemies do more damage. Elites do more damage. Bosses do more damage. I don't heal to full health after a boss. I start the run with missing health. Normal enemies deal even more damage. Elites deal even more. Bosses deal even more. I start the run with a dead card. This is a curse that I cannot play. It doesn't do anything. It just makes my deck worse. Um, upgraded cards appear less often. Bosses give less money. I have a lower max HP. Events are harsher if they cost HP, they cost more HP. Uh, shops cost more money. Normal enemies, elites, and bosses have even more challenging abilities. And then Ascension level 20, at the end of the game, you need to beat two final bosses in a row. I have never been able to do that. Um, kill a boss in one turn. I did that a long time ago, probably just off some BS run where I got, I went infinite. Uh, who's my favorite character? It used to be the Silent, but after losing for so long, it's hard to say. All right, let's go. Uh, your starting deck is super basic. You have strikes, you have defense, and then you have uh, this one, which applies weak, which makes them do more damage, and survivor, which blocks for more damage, but you have to discard a card to use it. Uh, so strike. The start of the game is very basic. It's pretty much just block as much as you can, conserve your hit points, uh, and deal damage where you can. 
These slimes aren't too bad. You can barely beat one boss. It takes practice. The game takes a long time to learn how everything works. Um, it's all about learning which cards are actually good, which cards are traps, which cards have potential potions you really need to use correctly. Uh, so backstab is not bad in Act 1. It's useless in the rest of the game. Sucker Punch is good too. Silent is the correct answer. Cloak and Dagger without any shiv support is not great. Um, I think I'm going to take backstab just for the early damage. Give me some good relics. Half off forever? Deal. Now everything in the shop will cost half. Akabeko plus backstab means we can open every fight for 17, 19 damage. But I think I'd rather, I don't, I don't need Lantern actually right now. Backstab just made Lantern worse because this takes up one card in our hand and this only gives us bonus mana on the first turn. Um, I, I'm going to wait and see what's in the next shop. I still have 200 gold and we're hitting a second shop, so. Um, all right, so backstab, nice chunking early on. Jawworms are my oh, Thanks. Thanks for all this defense. Uh, yeah, backstab, great act one. Pretty useless elsewhere. Alright, we're good. Jawworms suck because they do a lot of damage and they block for a ton. That's better. Alright, we got him. As long as we draw two strikes, he's dead. Uh, okay. Great. Seven hit points gone. Thanks. Thanks, thanks for all those strikes on this turn. <laughs> Um, we don't have any shivs. It's Poison Stab. Poison deals damage over time. They take damage equal to the amount of poison on them. Bag of Marbles? <laughs> if we wanted to... Yo, Phantom Prince, $5. Hey, now I'm a patron. Yay, thanks for the cool perk. Yo, thank you, Phantom Prince. I appreciate that. Hope you enjoy all the monsters available for Monster Month. It's so cool. Um... Do we take Apotheosis? Apotheosis is a great card, and we could upgrade it right... This might be a mistake. Catalyst is a trap. Catalyst is a huge trap. Catalyst is not as good as people think it is. Buy all the cards. All right, so now, now thanks to our marbles, he's vulnerable, which means he takes 50% more damage. Uh, so we can do this. Boom, he's dead. <laughs> That's nice. Um, I have not seen Twitch play Slay the Spire. Do you mean Slay the Streamer? Because I would love to play Slay the Streamer someday. Uh, quick Slash is good. Dodge and Roll is bad. Expertise is bad. We don't have a lot of energy to use Quick Slash, but I'll take it. We need the damage. Uh, all right, yeah, let's let's upgrade Apotheosis. So Apotheosis upgrades every card in our deck. So if technically we don't need to upgrade anything from now on. Uh, let's... Okay, this might work out. Uh, so these guys had something called Artifact, which prevents the first status condition put on them, which would have been the Vulnerable for my Bag of Marbles. Uh, let's draw a card first. Okay, no Apotheosis. So we're gonna Backstab. Uh, defend, Defend, Neutralize. I could have neutralized him to reduce his damage, but I still would have taken some, so I'd rather just full block. Hey, Apotheosis! I think we're gonna have to use our block potion this turn. Yeah, block potion, perfect blocks here. Puts us to 20. You always want to take out one of the ones on the edge first, because they tend... Because they attack at the same time, they always attack middle, edge, middle, edge. Uh, you are dead. Start working on you. Bye bye and if anyone has any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I love talking about Slay the Spire. And also, you can still ask me about um, Pathfinder, too. This game's pretty pretty smooth. I get sucked into the... I get the thinky brains a lot. But other than that... Um, I'm just gonna weaken you. Writing a Monster Hunter campaign so hunters can jump in and out as consistent players. That's awesome. That's a really good idea. So, like, a West Marches, but, like, uh... That's so cool. So each up, each... It's almost going to be like a thing of one-shots. Uh, thank God we killed him. Um, that's really cool. I like that. Don't let him distract us from our purpose of video gaming. We are here to see him burn. What? Burn? Oh, that's... That sucks. All right. Uh, what do you mean? There's no burning happening here. My tongue feels just fine. Thank you. 
Th thanks for all this defense. I don't need that next turn. All right, cool. <laughs> um, trying to get friends into Pathfinder. Advice, don't hardcore pressure them. Nothing makes someone afraid to try something than someone trying to cram it down their throats. You can occasionally mention like, oh, look at this cool thing. Or, hey, this is cool, 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 cool. But don't just be like, dude, play Pathfinder. No, but play Pathfinder. No. If they say no, respect it. If you respect it, they are much more likely to respect you for respecting them and then possibly consider listening and giving it a shot later. Uh, does anyone have any idea what to call my animal servants of gods? Zodiac beasts? Um, what I like to do, personally, my little cheat, uh, look up uh, English to Swahili. Swahili has some really cool words. Um... Like one of my one of my characters, Bin Joka. His name is B I N apostrophe J O K A. Um, in Swahili, that roughly translates to man dragon. And he was a Chandan human with dragon spit as a feet. He was like a dragon man. So his name was Bin Joka, which is an awesome name. Literally just means man dragon. Uh, you know Swahili, Josh? Seriously? That's awesome. Uh, lived in Kenya for four years. What? I learned something new today. Hmm. Uh, any updates on homebrew neutral champion causes? Any interest in a collab? Also, thank you for 25 bones. Oh my god, thank you. Um, we'll talk. We'll talk, Will. I've had some basic ideas in the past, but... Um, <laughs> I've had some basic ideas in the past, but nothing super that I was super happy about. They don't work super well with the way Pathfinder 2E has been designed. Uh, I have a friend from K. Cool. Uh... Thank you, well-laid plans. Uh, we rest. Uh, usually use Chinese and butcher. That's basically what I do with Swahili. Uh, ceramic fish, free money. I'm back for a bit. Glad to see your faces in red and your eyes are clear. Ian, you missed it. You missed it. We're down to here. We've locked out all eight of these. This one was rough. This one messed with me. <sighs> it's getting there. <laughs> Drop in the $5, Ian. Thank you. Diablo 2 Resurrected open betas out? Yo, Nathan. <laughs> uh, you're dead. I would like to block and poison you, please. Uh, Nathan! <laughs> uh, do I like Apo here? Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this a lot. Um, is it still counting our gives? Should be, yeah. Yeah, uh, let me check. Didn't get any, oh, did I get a PayPal? No, I did not, but I did just get a huge page. Yo, Phantom, I didn't realize how big of a pledge you made. Oh my word, thank you. Uh, but yes, it is still counting. We are at 843. When we hit 900, we do Devil's Revenge, which is fun. Um... These are not very good. I'll take Cloak and Dagger. Uh, Apotheosis. Give me two daggers, please. Quick Slash for 12. Nah, Neutralize helps. Uh, yeah, I'll just chunk. Very close to lethal. Oh, but we didn't take any damage. All planned. All planned. Easy game, easy life. I win. I'm the best at this game. God, I'm so good at this game. Uh, these cards are bad. I don't really want another Quick Slash. I'm gonna skip. I'm running PF2 Beginner's Box in a few weeks. First time DMing 2E. Any tips? Don't let the rules overwhelm you. It can happen, and they might. If you don't understand something, and it would take a while to figure out, roll with it. Talk it over. Just be like, I don't know how this works. We'll look it up after. For now, roll me athletics. That's fine. Um, other than that, don't focus too hard on it being a different system. If you're experienced with D&D... &D, it's not necessarily that different from a gameplay perspective. You're still a DM, there's still players, you're still telling the story. Don't let a new rule set get in the way of telling that story. Uh, why am I called No Nat Ones? Uh, I thought it was a cool name, because I'm like, oh, No Nat Ones, because no one likes rolling a natural one. And ever since I've gotten that name, I've rolled more Nat Ones than anyone I know in my life. Um... Let's see. Don't sweat small mistakes. Absolutely. 
I turn away for a sec to make food and suddenly we're over 800. Yeah, no, because Will dropped freaking $200. Uh, you're dead. You're dead. Mm, I want you dead. Cool. Um, yeah, I specifically wanted to avoid like 20s or anything. Because 20s are so overdone. Uh, you're dead. You're dead. Uh, but yeah, no, that, that was part of my decision as well, for sure, was to... I wanted my name to stick out and be a little bit different, but also I thought it just sounded cool. Which is how I come up with, like, all my names. <laughs> uh, who are we fighting? Hexaghost. Leg Sweep could be good against Hexaghost. Yeah, we'll take Leg Sweep. Leg Sweep makes them weak and gives me... Oh, this guy's annoying. Alright. Get weak, boy! So these guys could be a problem. When he hits 35 hit points, he's going to split into two. All right, I think I'm gonna use my potion here. So we can split him like that, or we can throw, and now he'll split into two nines instead of two 29s. Uh, dead. You're dead! I win! Oh, Dagger Spray is good. Blur is fine. I don't think our deck is defensive enough to make use of Blur yet. Dagger Spray. We... 11 days! <laughs> and how long does your kind usually live? 11 days! <laughs> uh, so we actually don't want to heal up here. Fun fact about Hexaghost. Uh, when you fight Hexaghost, its first attack's damage. It attacks six times. The amount of damage each hit deals depends on your current health. The more health you have, the more damage he deals. So you actually don't want a bunch of health going into the Hexaghost fight. I think we're going to upgrade Poison Stab here because we need that extra damage. I'm worried we don't have the damage to kill Hexaghost. I've been running games for almost 40 years. The pregame jitters never go away. Absolutely not. They never do, and I love them. Uh, let's do this. You can live. Boom. Boom. What does that do? It is nine. All right. Cool. That's a pretty good opening. Uh, roguelike games designed to have shadow and sneak systems? No, actually. No. I think the first game was called roguelike, and you did play as a rogue. I could be wrong. Uh, but roguelike no longer has anything to do with, like, the rogue class or being sneaky or anything. On fire? Oh, you know, you just happened to come in. We've already done eight of them, Liam. Don't worry, though. We're only $57 away from the good stuff. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Um... Oh, God. Piercing Whale could be good, but I'm... <sighs> this kind of sucks. Piercing Whale can be good. It might save our life. Let's go. So, Smith up. Let's... What are we upgrading here? I need the damage. This does 12 damage instead of 8. That's pretty good. You did miss out. But, I mean, if someone happened to drop 50... Ooh, Apotheosis, turn 1. Hell yeah. Um, if someone happened to drop a, uh, a $57 dono, which... Don't, don't do that. I feel dirty just saying that. Whenever I see streamers do that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, three times. Easy. Boom. Full block. Thank you. Uh, also, that power, well-laid plans, allows us to hold two cards in our hand at the end of each turn. Are you planning on running games for high-level Patreon subscribers? I did for a while, but it got too stressful, Ian. Uh, Will here, my, my mod, was actually one, in one of those games. It was a lot of fun. Um, I didn't like playing for money, though. Especially GMing for money, it added this really uncomfortable uh, pressure to the whole game where I didn't get to enjoy myself as much because I'm thinking, these people spent money to be here. If I don't give them a good game, they wasted their money, and then I just it really gets in my head, and I put me in a really bad headspace. Check my PayPal! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nothing yet. Let me open my PayPal application. 
I'm worried now. <laughs> ben, what? Excuse me? <sighs> Hush. Uh, Nathan, can you go ahead and can you go ahead and throw that on the bar? Can you go ahead and uh, throw that on the donation bar? Right, right over, right over there, right over, right over, right over there. Nathan, can you just can you just up up here, please? Up here. Up here, please, Nathan. Nathan, yep, yep, that that's. I didn't expect to hit $1,000 today. I thought that was a fun pipe dream. I definitely didn't expect to hit $1,000 in two hours! Uh, cactus costume is an automated thing from a long time ago. Ignore that. Devil's Revenge, and Ghost Pepper. Ben, thank you, first off, for your very generous donation. I greatly appreciate you. Nathan, sh <laughs> I told you that in confidence, Nathan. I told you that in confidence. <laughs> No, I was talking to Nathan, my producer, before the stream, and I'm like, no, I'm I don't think I, I don't think we're gonna do like amazing. I doubt we'll hit the thousand. Maybe we'll hit like five hundred if we're lucky. Thank you, thank you for the <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, maybe I'll you know what? If we make enough money, maybe I'll hire TK to do a... that'd be fun, Nathan. Nathan, maybe I'll hire TK to do a, 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 a funniest moments from this. That could be enjoyable. <laughs> I am fancy. Nathan's a producer. Uh, what are you? This is habanero pepper. Oh, God. Oh, no. How much did you miss? Ben donated $160. Oh, no. We're at exactly 1000 Oh, no. So you need two more? I have two more. <sighs> this sauce, for those of you who don't know, this is hot sauce from hell's devil's revenge. Water. Vinegar. Habanero pepper. Capsaicum extract. The capsaicin extract itself has a 1 million Scoville. He had it coming. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. How many Scovilles? It's hard to say. It had one of the ingredients has a million Scoville. If I had to guess, this is somewhere in the couple hundred thousands. Here we go, chat. Thank you, Ben. Ow! <coughs> There's no flavor. It has no taste. There's no flavor. It's <coughs> it's just heat. <coughs> Give me another nuggie. Give me another nuggie, please. Oh, baby nuggie. I don't need milk. 
I don't need milk yet. I'm a big boy. This music is too happy. Where's rat battle? Hold on, I need rat battle. Do I have here it is. <sighs> Alright, chat, now it gets real. Now it gets real. I don't know what that says, Liam. I don't know what that means. I don't like saying things I don't understand. Is that elvish or some shit? I mean <laughs> poop. Sorry, my mind is elsewhere. No one clip that. No one clip that. Ugh. You can't go to Gen Con if your stomach turns inside out. I'll just go in a iron lung. It's fine. <sighs> Drink milk. No, I'm fine. I don't need the milk. I'm passing my fortitude saves. <sighs> I'm sweating. Oh, it's the words for fire breath shout. Yeah, I'm the nerd. <laughs> Is there any D&D 5e systems you would love to see in 2e? Uh, yeah, spell creation would be cool. Although, is that in 5e? I don't know if spell creation's in 5e. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Milk gives you item bonus. Sure you went critically fa If I was critically failing, I'd be on the floor a long time ago. <sighs> Come on. I'm trying to open it, but this thing just keeps bending instead of ripping. No! Ow! I can do it. Where's the serration? Oh, <laughs> blessings. There's no serration on this. Uh, you think you're succeeding and then it hits you. <laughs> It just doesn't have any serration. I might be able to... Can you give me some more liquid, please? Or ice cubes? Yes, please. And less Mio, please. Okay. Exactly! That's the thing. If I go to the hospital for this, y'all paid for it, and I appreciate that. I'll be fine. I can afford it, even without my insurance. Okay. Alright, I've, I've pulled the pants down off this thing. off. That's foul. That is foul. Oh, Dez, you're just in time. We've just hit a thousand. It's ghost pepper sauce, baby. What is... Boot Jalokia mean? Hold on, what does that mean? Boot Jalokia. Oh, it is the ghost pepper. Okay, the ghost pepper. Oh, I didn't know that. The ghost pepper is just a colloquialism. The actual species of pepper is Boot Jalokia. Okay, thank you. I appreciate you. I've never had Buffalo Wild Wings blazing sauce. I'm sorry. Uh, it's not, it's not yellow, it's red. It's just coloring. It's just the outside is colored. Also known as fire butt. God. Nice big tendy. Oh, it is kind of orangish though. That's too much. That's too much sauce. I put so much on there. I haven't switched it out. I don't I don't wanna I wanna keep it on screen so people don't think I'm like switching it out or something. Oh. 
talk. I can't talk. It hurts. Oh, it hurts. Oh, God. Don't worry, Liam. I expect that it does. It does. You say try liquor? Ugh. Ugh. This one hurt. That's a whole other level. This won't beat me. This won't beat me. Babe, can you get me a slice of bread? Yes. Oh, it's just pain. I wish I was joking. Yes, please. <laughs> I wish. I wish I were acting. Do not feel bad. Mm. Des, we're like 70, 80 subs away from 15K. No. <laughs> okay. Ugh. That's true, sugar does help. I have I have a final backup plan that I don't need yet. Strange enough, we do not feel bad. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not beaten this day! We stream on! Ugh. Oh god, we're gonna be driving tomorrow! Oh no, if it all hits me tomorrow... In the middle of a three hour drive, oh no, Dez! I am wearing Guyliner. So how about 1100, 1200? We'll talk about those when we hit them. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
There are two more sauces. Um, Ben, you need to like give blood. What? Ben asked what uh, he's for his girlfriend to try that sauce. Five grand, and girlfriend will try it. Yeah, five grand. We'll go with that. That sounds safe. Hmm. We're driving up north to. I actually don't want to say on stream. <laughs> but we're driving up north. Ugh. My eyes are not running. No. Eyes aren't watering yet. It's all tongue pain. No, no tears, no nothing. Hmm. I learned. I try to learn fire eating. That'll be fun. But yes. Up next is the ass blaster. Not now, but next. Bro, if you destroy my bathroom, I will straight up yeet Sinclair into Asmodeus' <laughs> bedchamber. Do it. He'll fight on. Alright, anyway, what were we doing? We were playing... We were playing a video game or... Enough with the intense music. I was... That's right, I was in the middle of a boss fight. That's right. I got distracted for some reason. Okay, neutralize. Ah, oh, like it, it still hurts, but it doesn't like burn anymore. Ah, uh, okay. I can actually save this, nice. Um, we're gonna defend. Um, we'll hold both of these. Um, not home, no. We're not going home, we're going somewhere else. Oh, God. Did Will donate again? No. No, Will did not donate again. Thank God. Oh my God! Don't, don't, don't scare me like that, Cookie Ghost. Don't scare me like that. So that was the hottest? Nope. There's two more hotter ones. Up next is Ass Blaster, and if we get past that, spontaneous combustion. Some more what? Oh, it's tough. Um. Oh, so. Oh. Um. Oh my God. So. Five hundred. Was um. Or sorry, sorry. Okay, so yeah, five hundred means that you guys get to pick the next video. I'll be making that post tomorrow, explaining everything. One thousand, which we have hit, is um. I will be writing and releasing a one-shot adventure on Drive-Thru RPG for free for Pathfinder 2e. Should be a lot of fun. I might make it, like, spicy-themed. Like a pepper farm or something. Where are you going? Oh, Alright, have fun seeing Kaylin. Yeah. Tell Kaylin I love her. I will. Okay, do that, do that, do that. Uh, let's hang on to these, please. Hmm. Uh, is that the hottest of the line? It's like a beauty. <laughs> Alright, uh, so this... Uh, how much of the... How much was left? Uh, well, uh, like about a third. Only a third? We've already had two-thirds of the court? Uh, no, okay, okay, then I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, Ponza becomes one with the hot peppers, gaining a breath weapon. Mm. Yo, La Bomb, yeah, I'll, I'll work with, um... I just touched my eye. Oh, God. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? I touched my eye. Am I gonna die? I'm okay. I don't, nothing burns. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no! Dude, Kalam, people crushed it. And no, vote will be tomorrow. You expect me to put this in my eye? That won't ruin the capsaicin. You know not what you do. I'm gonna drink this attack potion. Um, give me. That's a free. That's a free. Uh, boop. Nice. Uh, next video, bro, is just rocking an eye patch. Probably. Let's probably be gone forever. The roof of my mouth hurts, which is weird. Oh, I I've been yeah. After that last sauce, we've been we've been hitting the milk. 
Uh, I think we're dead. I'm pretty sure we are dead. Uh-oh. Uh, boop, boop. Eat cheese. I could eat cheese. We do have cheese. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Ow. Uh, I think we're dead. Are we dead? We're dead! Uh... So that'll block for 8, 24, 12. Yeah, uh, does this kill? Oh my god, we were so close! He had three hit points left! Oh, I'm freaking 820. Oh god. Yo, see you later, Phantom Prince. Thank you for the very generous Patreon pledge. It's freaking awesome. Oh, A20. I will say that, like, Act 1 is often the hardest part of this game at higher difficulties. Uh, random rare relic. Yes, please. All right. That means we might be able to get away with playing defensive in Act 1, which would be interesting. Um... If we fight Gremlin Knob, we lose, but everything else we win. Oh yeah, we're definitely trying again. Absolutely trying again. You try, try, try again, but that's what makes it a roguelike, is every time you fail, you go all the way back and you start over. Okay, this is a hand. So I'm back to my starting deck, back at floor one. Uh, but everything is generated differently this time. This jaw worm is giving me troubles. Right, just deal the damage. I hate these things. Can you stop attacking for once? And just block? Uh, that stoner whale is Neo. He's like the god of the spire. I have to keep checking my, my phone to make sure I'm not missing any PayPal. Uh, dagger throw, please. Good damage. Is this A20? It is, almost. I've never beaten A20. I've gotten there. I'm close. I've never beaten it. Oh, boy. I've, I've died to the second boss multiple times, which makes me so sad. Like, the second Act 3 boss. But someday. Someday I'll actually draw my damage cards. Not a fan of how much health we've lost here. Oh, God. These cards. Uh, poopy. Poopy. Kaka poopy. I don't want to dodge elites. Just dodge and roll. Upgrade. Dodge and roll. All right. Let's go. Why am I going for the double elite? Why am I going for a double elite? What am I doing? Uh, yeah, A twenty is Ascension twenty. Effectively, after you beat the game for the first time, um, you can. Uh, try, beat it again. Uh, and every time you beat it, your ascension level goes up and it gets harder and harder and harder. So all of this is applied to this run. Just the entire game is harder now. Uh, 16. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know if the silent... What, I don't know if they've ever given, like, races or anything to the characters. I know the Ironclad just is the Iron... Like, what is the last of the Ironclad, but whether that's, like, a race or a, a group of people, who knows. This sucks. All right, dagger throw. Uh, it just wants something to... Just give me defensive cards with my stone calendar! I can't even afford glass knife. Uh, move a strike. Her skin does look dark under the mask, absolutely, but I think it's hard. And she, yeah, her hand is, like, gray there, too. So, yeah, maybe she is some kind of dark elf. Uh, hit that. Defend, defend. Uh, this fight is just about surviving seven turns. That's all this fight is. Survive seven turns, they all die. Cool. Yeah, I think they are group knights. What's up, Puggle Hugs? Oh, God, already. All right. Yes, that. That was a really brutal first draw. Also, our deck is small, though, so that makes sense. That's that's a good draw. That's a really good draw, actually. 
Three more turns. Three more turns and we insta win. That's not helpful. Somewhat helpful. Alright. Ow. We can't take 10 damage here. Okay. Oh, we lived! <laughs> and... GG. Boom. There aren't... T there's Cavern Elves, but there's no Drow in PF2. Why would you give me Stone Calendar and then Vajra? Oh, it's just plus one strength permanently. Good with Blade Dance, though. Rest. Uh, I think even if we get Gremlin Knob here... Wait, all I did was change my name? Wait, who are you now? Who were you? I have questions. <laughs> Alright. This guy, luckily we can just wait. He sleeps for three full turns. And then... So now he's gonna wake up. So we can just go... Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Cool. 20 damage incoming. Dagger throw. Okay. Oh, this guy's gonna be tough to survive. This guy's gonna be really tough to survive. Don't draw Blade Dance. Good. Alright, Blade Dance, Blade Dance, Blade Dance, Blade Dance, Blade Dance. Yes! Okay. We gotta do this. Vulnerable. Give us five temporary strength. Lay into him. Bye bye bonk. Cool. Got him. Um, they're not playable, but they exist. Yeah, I think there are drow enemies in the bestiary, aren't there? Yeah, there are drow enemies in the bestiary for Pathfinder 2 Pocket Watch. These cards aren't bad. I'll take a poison. I would like healing. I need those campfires. There's no way we live. Oh, if we can reach the boss, we're fine. Pantograph heals us when we reach the boss. Oh, there's no way. Oh, God. Uh, 18 damage. Wait, 4 plus 15 is 19. No, okay, we can... We can split him here. That's not bad. That's a pretty good split, actually. Split 16. Right, yeah, you can absolutely play Cavern Elf for a Drow right now. All right, I just need to draw and attack this turn. Thank you for drawing and attack. We are alive! Another Blade Dance? That's that's one mana deal 15 damage. Oh, golly. All right, Nob. All right, Nob. Thousand cuts. Here we go! We gotta kill this guy before he kills us, effectively. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. Uh, we have to poison here. This might get us killed. Come on, come on, come on, draw damage. Yes! Oh my god, we did it. We're freaking in this. Let's go! Toxic Egg. Auto upgrade skills when you draw them. Reflex is great. Alright, alright. If we can survive this act, we have a very legitimate run here. Um, also, yeah, I love Drizzt. Drizzt's fantastic. Okay. Um... Oh, you are Armos Puggle. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, so you are dead. Not a big surprise. Now we need to kill this guy without taking 16 damage. That's a pretty good start. The bonk? We've got power! I'll give our deck that. It's got power. Block potion's very nice. Concentrate? Oh, concentrate's a hard pick right now. We have the upgraded reflex, which lets us draw cards. Oh, this is a mistake. Oh, that's a mistake. Oh, this was a mistake. That might get us killed. But if it doesn't, it's really good. Okay. 
Did we reach a thousand already? Yeah, we did. Freaking blew past it, and thankfully, chat's given me some time to recover. Because it was bad. It was rough. I feel okay now, but... Ugh. Okay. Now, I went through a whole slice of bread, a full glass of milk, almost this whole iced beverage. That was... Whew. It was fun, though. <laughs> Nothing makes you feel more alive. Okay. I'm so excited to play the Magus. Um... But yeah, what's up, Dane? How you doing? Ooh. Oh, this is a turn. Oh, this is a turn. Defend. Discard these. Draw three more cards. Thank you. Defend. Poison. Defend. Neutralize. And strike. Very good. Very nice. Taking no damage at all. We might be taking some damage here. We are taking damage here. Okay. Uh, I can block 17 of it. I think we're fine to take a hit right now. That's okay. We can take a hit. Nothing feels more alive than a near-death experience. Fact. Yo, we keep drawing these together. Let's go. Concentrate reflex. So good. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be curious how they differentiate a ranged Magus from an Eldritch Archer. Nice, we got the 52 damage from Stone Calendar. We got this. Oh my god, we got the Reflex. That's good. Dodge and roll. Yeah, we'll just poison here. We've got this. I, why didn't I concentrate? What am I doing? I took two damage. Dude, I want I want Secrets of Magic so bad. I just want it. I want, I want it. Got him. Big! Uh, ugh. Dude, the new spell strike looks great for Magus. It's actually going to be useful. Wraithform's really good. It's got to be Wraithform. Chat. Uh, attacks that deal cost zero deal four additional damage. Uh, do you know what these are? Do you know what shivs are? That's really good. That was really good. Um, yeah, no. We're a shiv deck. Here we go. Shiv decks are pretty solid. As long as you get the support. I kind of want to beeline it for that shot, but I also... I like avoiding fights in Act 2, because Act 2 is really lethal. I like that path. All right. We're going for a bunch of question marks. Strike. And nine damage, nine damage, nine damage. So good. Look at that chunk. bad. Um, I, I'm curious to see how they're going to handle true name magic. It'll be fun. Bonk. Nice. Gamba? Acro? Oh, I want both! Gamba. Gamba's free. We don't have much energy. Uh, I want this, but we're not hitting a shop anytime soon, so no thanks. I hate this event so much. Alright, ow, 23 damage. Thanks for that. There's the remove a card anyway. Ah, remove a card anyway. Uh, get this dirty, filthy strike out of my deck. Uh, from what I've heard, Magus is way stronger than it was in the playtest. Oh, you're gonna try to take my money. You're taking all me money! This is bad. This is a really bad start. All right. Well, real bad, real bad. That's a lot of damage. Nice. Very good. Very good. Twenty damage, good lord. Whew! 
got him. All right, nice. <laughs> I was getting really scared there. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the footwork, Big Preach. Uh, I need the health for this. This freaking floor kills me. I'm glad y'all are content to just sit there and chat, chat Pathfinder while I play Slay the Spire. I appreciate that. I hope y'all are having fun, because I'm actually digging this. This has been a lot of fun. Real chill. Alright, we're gonna concentrate. We're gonna ditch these. Boom, full block. Are you winning, Nonat? I'm this run is good. This run has some serious potential. Like, no lie, this has been one of the best runs I've had in a while. Um, just the damage output is insane. I'll take Liquid Memories over Energy. Leg Sweep? Leg Sweep? Mm. Or Deadly Poison Plus. Are we fighting? Automaton? I think it's Leg Sweep. Magus cannot use Electric Arc on Shocking Grasp? I would hope not. <laughs> uh, this way. Oh, Gremlin Leader. Why is it Gremlin Leader? Stop with the Gremlin Leader. Okay. This could be bad. This could be really bad for us. This guy does a ton of damage. He's attacking for... 24 damage. On the upside, this is a pretty good hand. Uh, what's in here? Well, that's unfortunate. I was wanting this. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Yeah, Draven. This is uh, this is Slay the Spire. It's a card game roguelike uh, where basically death is permanent. Uh, it's all about building a deck that can survive. It's a lot of fun. Do I want a wraith form here? I'd rather not. Coming at me for 39. Alright, we'll do this. Oh, that's not lethal! Oh, math. Oh, math. Alright, um. Is it just Wraith Form? Wraith Form makes me take, like, no damage for two turns, but then I quickly become less and less capable of fighting back. Yeah, let's do it. Wraith Form! Might regret this, but we'll see. So yeah, they only hit me for one now. Discard these. Blade dance, very nice. Alright, so now we gotta burst this guy down. So he's gonna call in more dudes, which is fine. I don't think we can kill him. Oh, he's attacking for so much! And he's weakened! Ugh. Oh, why didn't I use my potion? Ow. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, got him. Alright, we got him. Singing Bull is good. Do I care about Infinite Blades? I really don't. Another Leg Sweep Plus? No. Hit points, please. Regal Pillow is great. We heal for more when we rest. Pursue them? Nah, nah, I'm good. Ooh, very nice. Thank you for upgrading all of my basic cards. I appreciate that. No survivors. I'm lucky to be a survivor. Uh, yeah, we'll just block all of that. It's a freaking bite plant. 24. Survivor this. Fourteen, eighteen. Yeah, we can footwork and we can defend. Right, I think we'll be okay. I think we're defensive enough against this guy. Got him. 
Um, what characters are there? Fighter, rogue, wizard, monk, in what? What are we talking about? I don't know. Uh, I struggle to follow along the chat sometimes. Let's discard this. Oh, and Slay the Spire! Yeah, basically, yeah. You basically have a fighter, a rogue, a monk. I guess I would call the defect a wizard. Maybe more of an artif artificer, or a... Um... Or like a... What's the word I'm looking for? Or like an artificer, or... An inventor? But... Yeah, it, it's up, that one's up, up for debate. But yeah, you're pretty much on the money there. Whoop! Ba -ba -ba. Nice. Three more cards, please. Thank you. Lethal! Alchemist? No, not an alchemist. The the silence probably an alchemist, because they have the poison. Hmm. More shivs, yes, thank you. Got anything good for me? Bag of prep. Kunai! That's our win condition. That's our win condition. Backflip! Oh! Oh, our deck just got a major upgrade. Whenever you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. Dexterity makes all of your block cards block for one more damage. You know what we're good at? Playing multiple cards at once. Plus one dexterity. Very nice. Give me a new hand. Plus three dexterity. Uh, you go on the ground and just die. Very nice. Thank you guys for giving me a break on the hot sauce. I finally feel like a human again. It's great. Alright, boop, 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 boop. And leg sweep. <laughs> Never. Uh, strike. Defend. Yeah, one defend card for 13. Let's go. Feels good. Uh, uh, oh my god. I actually don't want to do that. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, 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 you're dead. Don't do it, Will. You've already donated enough. You've donated your maximum. Take another concentrate. That's actually really good. Oh, imagine if we got on CC top. No. One concentrate's enough. <laughs> uh, footwork, blade dance. Oh, this deck is so good. Chat, if, if you don't play this game, you might not understand it, but like, this deck is really good. I don't want to eat spicy food because my deck is so good. Yeah, that's why. Play dance. Our damage, our defense, it's so good! The last round was rough, and the next round is going to be rougher. Can't even touch me with all this dexterity. Oh my god, so many cards in my hand. Play dance, play dance, play dance. Play dance, play dance, play dance. <laughs> You had a deck with only give you random power attack skill cards? Oh my god, I love it. That's so insane. Another Gamba? Another Gamba! Give me hit points, please. Plus we have Pantograph, so we're at full HP. Let's go, Automaton. Oh, Footwork turn one. Give me that Reflex. Oh, yes! Blade Dance, one, two, three, four. Oh my god, we're at five Dexterity on turn t one? Let's go! Can't stop me now, having such a good time. Ditch this. Dodge and roll, block. Easy, easy! This should not be a hard fight at all. Dude, a Slay the Spire one-shot would actually be legit. That was legitness. That'd be really fun. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Look at all this dexterity. Look at all that dexterity, dude. Discard these. Bop, bop. Coming at me for all that damage, are ya? Are ya? Backflip. Neutralize. Leg sweep. Safe! I don't know if we'd be able to block for like 50 something. Uh. Let's hit this. Hit that. Uh, Gamba. Come on, concentration, 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 concentrate. Ah! 
I don't want to use this because it'll wrap stuff into my deck, unfortunately. That's okay. Alright, here comes the big one. 43 damage. <laughs> Easy! Easy to block! What, is that supposed to be damage? Come at me! Boom! Uh, boop, 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 boop. Oh, I wish I had a well-laid plan. And 52 from the calendar. 40. Boop. Can't touch me. Up, up. Uh, blade dance. Ah, oh, I accidentally went overdrew. It's fine. I should have used neutralize. Okay. Concentrate. Ditch these. Blade dance. Let's redraw. Blade dance. That's the other shiv we had. Oh, this deck is so good. Oh my god, this deck is freaking rolling. Uh, dagger throw. That's unfortunate. Alright, this is gonna hurt. Um, yeah, that's fine. We take a little chunk here. Not too bad, like 14 damage. 10 damage. Uh, neutralize. Boom! Oh, get out of here! Two bosses down. TTRPG Twitter is up in arms about Flight and 2E. Why? Oh, Goron, you've never seen Slay the Spire? Oh, it's so fun. I have like 300 plus hours of game of uh ooh phantasmal 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 yes um no more potions we need to rest it's no more potions gain one extra mana at the start of your turn you can no longer obtain potions sure all right we're looking for acrobatics we're looking for another reflex we're looking for accuracy um and we're looking for I like that path. I like that path a lot. Oh god, of course it's Time Eater. This is gonna be tough. Yeah. Oh, they all have some nuts combos. It's so much fun. Okay. Uh, these guys, you have to kill them all within the same two turns, otherwise they come back. Oh, that was my double damage turn, too. Um... It's not what I meant to do. That works. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, no. Fly is like tough, but that's not a directly Pathfinder problem. Fly has kind of been an issue for all fantasy RPGs. I uh, don't want any of these. More health, thank you. 50 gold. These guys suck for me. These guys are really rough for me. Six, twelve, we can. Oh, oh, they started seven on this. I'm so stupid. Um. Oh yeah, if your players don't have attack of opportunity, yeah, flight will mess them up good. Just kill them quickly. That's tough to do. Although I do have wraith form. That's a poison. I got one more turn of intangibility. 
Okay, not bad. Got him! Nice. Thank you, Wraithform. Uh, do I want expertise? I've got the energy for it. No. No, it's HP. It's just HP from here. This is a sucky fight. Alright. Came here for the hot sauce, got Slave Spire instead. Hey, y'all got your hot sauce. It was brutal. <laughs> 18, 18, 18, pretty great. I'm just, I mean, again, the hot sauce is still there. I'm not encouraging any more donations at the very current second, but the hot sauce is still there. <laughs> Uh, added the game to your wish list. I am happy, dude. Lots of positivity for chat. I love this game. This game is way too good. Uh, 11 damage. Do that. Smack him. I hate the freaking baseball. Baseball's annoying. And backflip. That's fine. Alright, cool. Intangible. Wraith form is broken. Thank you. But yeah, no, you'll have to let me know how, how it goes, Dane Marker. I love... Ah! Reflex number two! Yes. Yes! Yes! Acro! Oh my god, our deck. Oh my god, our deck. First time we lose HP, draw three cards. That's pretty good. Uh... Also this. Also this. This is exact. This is exact cost. We take that one. I'll be able to beat them. Uh, uh, I like leg sweep. I like leg sweep going into the time meter. I'm too. I'm too scared to take the elite right now. Uh, we're gonna upgrade wraith form. They are like one of those stress balls, except they cause stress. <laughs> All right. Uh, this should not be a big problem. This guy deals a bunch of damage every turn, but um. Whenever you deal damage to him, his damage goes down by that amount. So as long as you can deal enough damage to him... Like, he's going to attack for 50 this turn. But we can weaken him, which reduces it by itself. Dagger throw. Uh, strike and leg sweep. And now he's only attacking for 16, because we did 28 damage. Um, double damage. Give me three new cards, please. Oh, you're too kind. Bam, 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 bam. Here, give me more cards. We're doing double damage this turn. Might as well make the most of it. Boom, boom, boom. Love this deck. All right, so he's coming at us for 52. Can we block all that? Yeah, we can. Look at all that defense. Look at all that defense. Bop, 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 bop. Double damage. All right, here's the hard turn. Did I say hard turn? Uh, good, because I meant it. Oops. Alright, we're taking 15. That's fine. Ow. We're he we heal on our way into the boss fight anyway. Piercing Whale? Flechettes? Flechettes. Flechettes with this deck? Oh, yeah. These- Can you stop it? I don't like you. Okay. Now I like you. Pretty good. New hand. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. This deck is nuts. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Those are dealing nine, I can hit him twice. And I still got my decks up. Nice. Oh, Levin's annoying. Oh, that's a hand. We do nothing this turn. Uh, 
Wraith form. There you are. Thank you. Concentration. Man. It's fine. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. It's a very fast killer in this game. Overconfidence will mess you up. Reflex. Concentrate. Thank you. Oh, Wraith form is so good. I really wish I had 200 to donate right now. <laughs> kind of glad you don't. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. My, my brain is... My, my brain. My tongue is kind of ready for the next one. Ooh, pendant. Um... Let's go this way. We'll try to take that last elite before the boss. Yeah, I wish we had a doc another doctrine. That's why that was like the first thing I homebrewed. New hand, please. Very good hand, thank you. Oh my god, another reflex. Wow. Oh, this deck is so good. Oh, footwork. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Aw, oh, even tied with another $5 GG. Thank you so much. Big preach, big pr <laughs> my own My own alert sound scares me. Uh, 13, 13, 13. That's fine. Maybe I... Maybe I should have wraith formed there. No, we good. We good. Uh, boop. Yeah, I should have Wraith Forms. I'm taking 11 damage here. 12 damage. Ow. That's fine. Okay, we're good. Still not bad. Still not bad. Uh, Acro number two! Dude, this deck is nuts. This deck is actually broken. Oh, we got the Concentrate! Oh, we got the Concentrate! This is so broken. This guy, you gotta be careful. Every time you hit him, his attack changes. And sometimes... He can put a curse in your deck. 42, yikes. 30. Uh, what was my opinion of Kingmaker? It was really good for what I played. I haven't played any more since the stream, just in case I plan to go back to it someday. But it was really good for what I played. I did really enjoy it, yeah. No, it was a ton of fun. Had a blast. 10 out of 10 would play again. That's bad. Um... Yeah, the purple swirl is him going to put the curse in your deck. Concentrate? Oh, where's Concentrate? Man. Darn, we're taking 10 here. Alright. Taking 10. Ow. Double damage this turn, though. Oh my god, stop! This is a problem. Can I have Concentrate, please? Concentrate! Concentrate! Where's Concentrate?! Why?! Why?! <laughs> uh, do I intend on playing Wrath of the Righteous, Zane? Probably, yes. I think that would be a lot of fun. I would love to play Wrath of the Righteous. 
Oh my word. Hey, thank you, Stone Calendar. Big preach, big preach. Another backflip? Yup, thank you. I want to fight this elite. I want to fight that elite. I want to fight that elite. Don't be Reptomancer. Alright, I can take Nemesis. Nemesis should not be a problem. Nemesis should not be a problem. Okay. Concentrate. Why? Concentrate! Stop being on the bottom of my deck! Ugh. Now we take 15. Come on. Dude, Concentrate needs to stop being on the bottom of my deck. So now, every other turn, he can't take damage. He only takes one damage at a time. Oh, that sucks. Right, at least we have double damage next turn. And I can still get my dexterity up through this. But, oh my golly. Am I not going to continue Kingmaker? I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. That's something that's going to take some time to think about. Um, Tagging for 45. Uh, I, I definitely want to. Uh, I don't want to commit to regular streaming again yet, though. Because regular streaming was taking a toll on both my videos and my mental health. Also, I went through a lot uh, while we were streaming. Uh, a lot of stuff happened that I won't get into here. But... Uh, yeah. That's sort of why the stream stopped. I haven't kicked it back up since. I did it in the wrong order. Ow, ow, ow. Stop it. You better give me a dang good relic. I would like a new hand, please. Much better. Hey, nice stone calendar turn. Tagging for 15. I need to cut. Shut up, Remy! I'm concentrating so hard. That's I'm honestly like concentrating really hard here because I don't want to lose this run. It's going so well. Okay, Nemesis down. Blood vial is not help, guys. At the start of each combat, I heal two hit points. Look how many combats are left. This is the final boss. <laughs> oh my word! Another reflex. Is it another reflex? Is it actually another reflex, though? I wish I had another concentrate. Is there any legs? No, it's it's another reflex. It's absolutely another reflex. Um, more damage. Yeah, flechettes is our main source of damage. Unfortunately, we're not doing a lot, but all right. So time eater really sucks against us. This guy has a very spec. Most of this is just... <laughs> is this Path of the Righteous? <laughs> uh, most of what he does is he just slaps you really hard. But he has Time Warp. Whenever you play 12 cards, your turn ends and he gets stronger. The problem is that carries over turn to turn. So if I play 11 cards, I can only play one card on my next turn. All right. Footwork, two. So my shivs are actually really bad here, because each one counts as a card. In this case, though, I am going to use them. I need that dexterity bump. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Remy. <laughs> Worth it for the puns. I can play three more cards. 
Dude, I want I want a CRPG with 2e. So badly I do. Two more cards. Um I'm just gonna roll over into next. I don't have any alright, well. Miscounted my energy, but that's fine. 33 damage. Okay, this sucks. I really hate this guy. I'm just gonna... We're just gonna go for Pocket Watch next turn. I never really use this relic, but if we ever play three or less cards, we draw way more cards the next turn. Dude, the, the music in this game is amazing. I can play seven cards this turn. I don't know if we have the damage for this. And we haven't been scale okay. This guy, if we beat this guy, the next boss will not be hard. Thank you. Alright, so this turn he's going to reset to I can't do this much damage to him. I have no way of lowering his damage either. Roll over. He resets to half health. Here we go. Is it Wraith form? No. Not yet. It's just a giant... Yeah, it's just a giant slug that controls time. <laughs> This sucks. Okay, thank you. Alright, we're still good. We're still good. Oh, 36 damage. Okay. We're gonna Phantasmal Killer. We're gonna Wraith Form. We're gonna Dagger Throw. Concentrate. Dagger Throw. Strike. Okay. We get three turns to basically be immune to damage. What is this hand? Oh, that was my double damage turn. Check PayPal. Oh God, create a burst. Do I want to know? Oh no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll check. Oh, thank you, Danielle Clark. I've been, I've missed a few. Oh my god. Thank you, Venka Taranga. I appreciate it for the ten dollars. Thank you, uh, Jared Jenkins. Thank you for the fifty. Oh my word. Holy cow. All right, all right. Let me finish this boss and I'll add those up. Um, I can play five cards this turn. One. This sucks. Two. Oh, this sucks so bad! Uh... I have to kill him here. I have to kill him here. 
Phantasmal Killer. All right, next turn. It has to be this turn. It has to be this turn. What is this hand? Am I dead? I'm not... Uh, I can play two cards next. It's over. It's over. That's right. I'm losing dexterity because of Wraith form. It's over. I lost. I hate Time Eater so much! Oh. Damn. I don't think that one was overconfidence. I think Time Eater just counters shivs. That's the, so the problem is that all of our damage came from our shivs, and Time Eater wrecks shivs. In Time Eater, mana hardly matters. It's card management. So when all of a sudden this becomes four cards deal 30 damage, it's just not good enough. Oh, uh, uh, was this the farthest you've gotten? No, I've gotten plenty farther. I've gotten to the second final boss. Uh, but all right, let me, let me do some addition here because, oh my word, I missed some freaking donations and I feel bad. I wish PayPal would come at me more. Uh, so we've got, um, $50 from Jared. Thank you so much. Which pushes us up and over the next one. Uh, we've got $10 from Venka Taranga. Thank you so much. Throw that in. So yeah, I had my producer doing this for me in the background, but uh, he had to go. So I have to do this manually now. Uh, and then $5 from Danielle Clark. Thank you all so much. I appreciate this so much. It's time for suffering. We cracked 1100 And that means it's time. Wait, the 50 and the 10 were already added? Wait, the 50 and the 10 were already added, Nathan. They were? Are you sure? How did you? Okay. Then I guess we're not there yet. So I apologize. Cause I just, oh, I, you know what? I can actually check. Yeah. No, they did. You are totally right. You are totally right. That did happen during the boss. Thank you, Nathan. I didn't know Nathan was still here. I knew Nathan has to go pretty soon. I'm that quick. All right. So we are actually 80 less than it shows. Unfortunately, there is no way to fix that. Because... Widgets suck. <laughs> uh, I can reset and everything. But uh, I can't edit current amount. So, well, then we need another... So we're 60 less than it shows. We are 60 less than it shows. So we are at 30 till. Also, I have to pee. So I'll be back after I pee. <laughs> Until then, enjoy my dead body.
Excuse me. Excuse me, Will? Excuse me, Will? That's $25. Did you think you could just slide that in while I was peeing? No. The answer is no. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Fine. Fine. Um, so let me let me correct this so the bar is correct. I know what I'm looking at here. Uh, if I go to this, and we go to this, this, uh, ah, 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 ba 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 ba. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Mm, but I fixed it. Oh, look at it go. Look at it go. <laughs> fixed it. Cool. Uh, I don't know why this is 11:25. I didn't do that, but I don't care. That works. That works for me. All right. But chat, that run was really good. If it hadn't been Time Eater. But you always have to assume you're fighting Time Eater. That's part of my problem. Alright. Alright. Welcome back to hell. I had a nice vacation in the Spire. Now it's back to reality. Oh, there goes strategy. Oh, no, no, no manity. I th honestly, this might not be as bad because I'm not doing two in a row. Last time might have been that bad because I had to do both of them one after the other and they might have compiled. I do have milk. I have an extra backup if I need to. It doesn't smell awful. Like, it, it hurts my nose. What's in this one? This one is... <laughs> of course. Why do they all have this? Water, habanero pepper, vinegar, and one million Scoville capsicum extract. Why? You're just thinking you could not to think if you should. I don't like rap, but I do find Eminem memes funny. Look at that, look at that. Oh God, oh, I dribbled on the schmibble. I did it, it was me. That's a very liquidy sauce. That's a drippy sauce, chat. That's a drippy sauce. Roll a fortitude save. No. I don't like it. Oh, it's already. Oh, <laughs> already. Oh, it's fast. Give me more chicky. Mm. More chimkin. Mm. I got hot sauce on my bread. Mm. Jewel, what do you mean a million Scoville's not that hot? A freaking Carolina Reaper's two million. Ghost Pepper's one million. Mm. What about... Oh. Get out of here with that. Oh, one million is not that bad. I eat, I eat three million Scoville cereal for breakfast. Oh, chimkin. Fatty, fatty fried chimkin. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. <coughs> uh. mm. Okay. I think. I think the chimkin's the answer. The chimkin helps. Chimkin in my mouth. Mmm. 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 <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I'm not gonna eat it hot sauce. That'll rip your stomach open. My stomach probably already has multiple holes. This is only a DC 11? Jesus! Mm. I think I'm good though. This one, like it hurts. It's not fun. But I think, I think I'm okay. That one was like not, 
I don't know what the difference was. I think the ghost pepper sticks longer. I think the ghost pepper stuck around a lot longer, but the ass blaster has more, like, going on. I don't know. But I'm okay. What's a little ulcer between friends? <laughs> Chat. <clears throat> this means that all that is left is spontaneous combustion. Let's play through one more run of Spire and then I'll break out the mystery game. The mystery game? There's a mystery game? What's the mystery game? You'll find out. I just want to beat Ascension level 20! That deck was so good! Oh boy. Transform. Random boss relic. Oh no, that's the worst one. Uh oh. I don't think we're even going to clear Act 1 here. I can't fight. Oh, we have to fight an elite. Oh, God. How attached are my, my intestines? I'll take them or leave them. They're fine. Um, exactly. That's the thing. Cap the... So, I, I realize it's not capsaicin extract. It's capsicum. I don't know what capsicum is. But it's different, I guess. I don't know enough about sauce science. You're right, Puggle Hugs. I did pass. Barely. Also, my throat kind of hurts, but I think that's from talking, not from hot saucing. <laughs> oh, <coughs> we're good. We're good. Poison Stab. We need damage. We need so much damage. Uh, capsicum is the taxonomic name for the genus of plants that peppers belong to. Interesting. Oh, no. Start each combat week. Um, so, well, it's by the... I don't know. Because on all of the bottles and everywhere, it says capsicum. Like on the ingredients list, on the advertising, it all says capsicum extract. Maybe capsicum just has a really high level of capsaicin? Oof. Oh, boy. Honestly, this bird might almost kill us here. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to do the damage now. Currently putting ghost pepper into your mac and cheese? Are you actually? It's like, if so, props. But also, why? Alright. Uh, we need damage. If we're going to survive these elites, we need damage. Look at Peter Griffin over here getting his butt kicked by... I'm fine. No need to be so rude. <laughs> I'll be fine. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Capsicum is the name of the family of plants. Then what does that mean? That must be like marketing mumbo jumbo. Apparently, I'm wondering if that's just ghost pepper extract? Because ghost pepper is a million scoville. And so if it was extract of ghost pepper, it would be extract of capsicum. I have no idea. It's a really weird choice. These cards are poopy. Oh, there's no way. Actually, actually, this is sentries. Everybody just think sentries. Sentries. We want sentries. Sentries, please. It'd probably just be an extract from an unnamed hot pepper that they calibrated to be at 1 million. I'd buy that. That makes sense. Uh, boop, boop. Boil some cheaper chilies at the concentration. Interesting. Sentries, please. Don't, don't tangle me. Stop it. You're a dingle. Not centuries. We're looking. Wait for it. Oh, and the fire potion, actually. We might be fine. Centuries. Oh, that's the one I didn't want to see. Oh, you suck, dude. You suck, Lagavulin. On the upside, this does 40 damage, so we might be okay. We basically just need to deal 60 damage to this thing. Just easier said than done. Where did you get the pack of sauces? Right online. You can look it up. It's just the, um... It's the Hot Sauce Challenge Book of Pleasure and Pain. 
It's like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. It's not bad at all. You can get it one day shipping on Amazon Prime, which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Smelly trees. Now we're always doing this. We just need to deal the damage. If we don't, if we don't attack here, we're dead. Okay, we survived. Wow, meat on the bone. Very nice, actually. Stop giving me poopy. I need good cards. You give me poop cards. All right. Uh, I would rather not die. Thanks. I paid twenty-five dollars to suffer. Disagree, sir. I made money to suffer. <laughs> um. Let me see. I'm so I'm so nervous about my PayPal updating without me knowing now. <laughs> I wish I can I put this somewhere where people can see it. The the final hot sauce. Can I just put it like up here. Sure can't. That, that's angled. All right. Well. <laughs> um. Die. 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 Thank you. <laughs> to be fair, he got eleven hundred dollars for doing it. True. Ah. Uh... I'm taking a lot of damage in this Act 1 run. Good. These cards are garbage! Minus 30%. Hey, 30% goes to YouTube for doing it for me, which is great. And actually not necessarily minus 30%, because a lot of that was PayPal, which goes directly in my nose. Uh, the reality is that we're paying him to suffer for our pleasure. I'm also okay with this. It's not the first time. It won't be the last. Uh, sentries? Hey, sentries! Nice! Uh, kaboom! Awesome. Punch. Cool. I think my grandparents have that chair. It's a good chair. It was a whole set for our dining room. Love it. It used to belong to my parents and they gave it to us. Score. I forgot I had this block potion against the Lagavulin. Would have been useful. Alright, this sentry fight is nice and easy. Uh, never mind, I lied. Ah, uh, no, we're good. We're good. I don't know how- who was the boss, by the way? Slime boss? I have no idea how we beat slime boss. We do not have any damage. We're embracing Zon Kuthon? What? How so? Ow. And you're dead, kid. Good. Thank you, meat on the bone. Matryoshka. Flying me, I guess. Uh, upgrade the stabby. There's no way we can beat that, no matter what it is. Unless we get a really good potion. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. <whistles> Block. Uh, knee. Strike. Oh, I can't even block. What is this Act 1? I'm not dying, but good lord, things are going poorly. Alright, gotta run. Thanks for everything, Nathan. You're the man. I appreciate it. Uh, tell Morta, let me know if you don't make it. Will do. I'll have her inform you. <laughs> He'll be invited to the funeral. <laughs> See you later, man. Have fun at your shark tank. Don't. Same goes to you, actually. If you die, let me know. Oh my word, why is this fight being so difficult? Alright, we're good. If we win this run somehow, I'm gonna laugh. I guess we're taking Slice. Don't touch my eyes, don't touch my eyes, don't touch my eyes. Ooh, three potions, not bad. Six thorns, not helpful. Against this boss. You have a duck, Preeny? Why do you just have a duck? I want a duck. Can I have a duck? How about a goose? Oh, this whole starting with weak thing really sucks. At least this fight's pretty easy. Got him. It's 
It's an emotional support animal? I love it. I'm stealing it. Uh, as much as I love malaise, it's not going to help us in this fight. 9 damage, 11 damage, 9 damage. Uh, <laughs> flying knee. Trust me, you do not want a goose. Fair. Depends on the type of goose, though. These are all defense cards. That means there's no defense cards left in here except that one. Huh. This is bad. He's gonna squish me. Neat! <laughs> Ow! We don't want him splitting here. We want to do as much damage as we can to get the split off. Oh, it's such a bad split! Oh, it's over. We're gonna die here. There's just no way. Don't attack it. This guy doesn't attack. Uh, he's attacking. That's exactly lethal. Oh, we're dead. Bonk. That was a terrible deck. What a run. That one didn't count. We're doing one more. That one didn't count. We're doing one more. <laughs> Random rare card. Astrolab. Transform three cards and upgrade them. Okay. Corpse Explosion and Upgraded Noxious Fumes is actually pretty good. We can't take many of the elites, but we can take... Hmm, let's see. Is the Silent your favorite? It probably is, yeah. If I, had to, if I had to name one. This sucks, though. This really sucks. Do I know the bottle for my collection of 30 hot sauces? <laughs> Uh, boop, boop, boop. Bonk, bonk. The silence is fun, you know, it's super defensive. I don't know, the poison's fun, the shivs are fun, everything about the silence is just fun. The only bad part is Act 1. Act 1 sucks. Bane. Well, I should have just double blocked there. A uh, corpse explosion is fun. If you put it on something and it dies, it deals damage equal to its max health to everything around it. To everything in the fight, except you. It's a great card. Problem is I don't have like any defense anymore. And that's a problem. Yep, see why that's a problem? <laughs> Boom. Uh, don't really like these. I'll just deflect. With Corpse Explosion, we can play pretty defensive. Except when we can't play it. <laughs> no defense, only glory. There's glory. Oh my god, where's my defense cards? Oh lord. This run is over before it's even started. Lethal? No. Holy cow. Corpse explosion? Nope. Okay. I just have no semblance of defense right now. Okay. We haven't even fought an elite nor out of health. Ugh. This deck. <laughs> the best defense is a good offense, especially in Act 1. Problem is, I haven't gotten enough of anything. 
Noxious fumes. Thank you. I should have given him vulnerable. Uh Okay, now we give vulnerable. There you go. There you go. Wow, we actually beat an elite. That's impressive. Lizard Tail. If we die once, we come back to life and half health. That's not terrible. More poison. We're a poison deck, lads. We have to fight another elite. Uh, that's sentries. I can't beat sentries. Uh, I can. Oh my god, we got it. Wow. Leave. How do we beat Gremlin Knob? How do we beat Gremlin Knob? We don't. We just don't. If I cast that, I'd die. Ha! <laughs> uh, can we deal 63 damage this turn? Nope, we sure can't. Hiya! Oh, right, Lizard Tail. I forgot about Lizard Tail. Crap. I was memeing. I was memeing. I'm so bad. Ah, uh, we still have lethal. Thanks, Thousand Cuts. I forgot we had Lizard Tail. Oh, that's bad. Crippling Cloud is good. Third time's the charm. We're, st we're already on the third time. Actually, I think this is our fourth run. It's been a rough... Oh, look at all Look at all this defense I got. Woo! Sure don't need that on any other turn. <laughs> oh, I did have a defend. I was just blind because all my cards are green. Now I don't. Okay. Apparently, I really need to get more defensive cards, or I just need to stop drawing like garbage. I can't tell which it is. Uh... Deadly Poison. Sundial. Okay, on the upside, the Guardian is usually pretty easy with Poison. Alright, we should be okay. Um, I know not your video on making XP to level 3 in Pathfinder 2. Me convincing my friends to give Pathfinder a shot. Let's go! You're fully switched over? Wow, that's awesome. Glad to hear you're enjoying it, Super Diet Coke. That's awesome. Good on ya. <laughs> Uh-oh. Big ouchie. Um, 15. That's enough. I would rather increase the poison. This poison keeps on a ticking. Poison. Alright, we should have this fight, honestly. Fourteen, twenty-eight, yeah. Okay, we're good. All right, he's dead. Nice. Holy cow! We actually survived Act One. How? A, a second energy relic. Energy relic. Energy relic. Better than energy relic. All right. Welcome to an RNG-based run. This is the Sneko Eye. At the start of your turn, you get to draw two additional cards. But every time you draw a card, its cost is randomized. Yeah. Interesting. So we can either do real... Yeah, Sne Sneko is really powerful, especially with the cards currently in our deck. It can kill you. It can absolutely kill you when you draw a handful of threes. But more often than that, you'll draw a hand. Uh, and especially because you always take big cards like this. You know, all those two-cost card, co two cost cards can cost one or zero. Like that. Zero-cost cor corpse explosion. Um, yeah. Got 
Got him. Alright, so now we want big cards. We want big cards. We don't want this. No. What do you got for me? Tungsten. Tungsten's great. Whenever we lose HP, lose one less. That's really good. Uh, Waffle just heals us. Tungsten. Tungsten's so good. Let's go for that smith. Don't need the ritual dagger. I don't care about you. Take my money. I'm gonna walk. See ya. Just these corpse explosions. If I get those, those cost zero. That's so good. Oh, like, look at this hand. Like, look at this hand. Not a perfect block, but still pretty good. Make Matt Pat and PF2E. Weird. Um. Oh. Look at that damage. Look at that poison damage. Alright, we want big stuff. We want big stuff. We want big stuff. None of these are big stuff! I will take Piercing Well, though. Piercing Well is always good. Alright. Cool. Good start. Neat. Give me two corpse explosions. Right here, both cost zero. Oh my god! Wow! Are we still dead? I thought that would kill you. That's really unfortunate. Uh, we're not dead! Ah! Uh, Crippling Cloud. Boom! 46 damage. We're fine. Twenty-three. Boom! Got him. Gambling chip is great. Um, don't want him. Bag of prep. Oh my god! On turn one, we're drawing nine cards, and we can replace any of them. Okay, this has potential. So now I can be like, don't want it, don't want it, don't want it, don't want it. Give me new stuff. It's not better. It's fine, though. The ultimate underdog run. Seriously? It's on turn one, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. If I draw another corpse explosion, we win. Hey! Kaboom! 106 damage. Corpse Explosion is a good card, by the way. Uh, we don't want any of that. That's all pretty poopy for us. Come on, give me big cards. I need big cards. Take on the other elite. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. Uh, no, 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 no. This is why Sneko can be good. Not bad. Not bad. Got him. Boop! Poison! Sneaky Strike is actually... <laughs> it's a bigger card, it's just a not a good card. Especially because I don't have discard synergy. What do you got? Alright, this should not be too bad. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Go away. That 
that sucks. What a sucky hand. Oh no. Alright, we're gonna take a big hit here, but then we're good. Ow. Ow. Um. Yeah, no, we'll just do this. Boop. Kaboom! Potion belts. Don't stop offering me. Wait. No, that one's good. That one's good. I always get Predator and Sneaky Strike confused. I hit points. This one's gonna be tough because he has artifacts. Okay. Sorry, Chad. This this deck is kind of complicated. Kind of having to do a lot of thinkies. pretty good. That's a that's a pretty good turn. I like that. 112 damage to everything. Not bad. very intense. I just want to beat A20 so bad. Is that so much to ask? The answer is yes. Yes, it is. Owie, I'm almost dead. Ow! We win. Cool. Whoo! Act three. Poison deck. Wraith form. Amazing. Actually, we're not playing. This sucks if we draw a bunch of zero cost. But as long as we pay attention to it, I don't think we need to play more than six cards per turn. Yeah, it's choker. So we have more mana to spend, but we can only play a maximum of six cards in a turn. See the path. I need to show how smart I am with my big brain. Bonk. Brain! Got him. Ghost in a jar is fantastic. Basically lets us skip out on taking damage for a turn. That's phenomenal. Oh, don't give me this. No, Link Wizard, you worked on this game? Slay the Spire? I want to upgrade all my cards. I have so many cards to... I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Maybe this loses me the run. Maybe I lose from this. But I need all my cards upgraded here. Boom. 
We're so strong now. Now we just need to survive. Duplicate any card and Noxious Fumes. I know I said this last time, but this deck is doing really good. Nice, 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 nice! Oh, I'm so nervous, chat. Oh, at the start of each combat, apply four poison. Yes, thank you. Uh, what would I like to get rid of? I will get rid of one of these little poopies. Alright, Elite. Oh, this could be tough. This guy likes to end runs that are not prepared. I'm making a poison build? I am a poison build. Alright, that's a really bad hand. It's fine. I should have blocked there. Oh no, I have tungsten. Never mind, I'm a genius. <laughs> Noxious, predator, back, uh, backflip. Okay. Let's see however modern saying to bridge the gap between Pathfinder and Starfinder. That would be interesting. I don't even know how they do that. Can we kill him in three turns? Four turns if I need to. I'm not confident, but I don't think I have a choice. All right, he needs to die in three turns, please. Skyfinder, that'd be awesome, like a steampunk one. Oh, I'd be into it. Okay, we're good. We got him. Nice! Oh, this deck is pulling together. Oh, it's so many close calls, but we got it. We... Let's go! Dooku Doll. Eh, plus one strength. Artifact Potion. Alchemize? I like it. Question marks. Let's ride the question marks. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Okay. No, luck so there's no boss that punishes you for using poison, luckily. There's bosses the hard the problem with poison is you just need to take the time to set it up. That's the hardest part of poison. Okay, I need to get my Noxious Fumes up, and for the first few turns of combat, it does no damage. If there are bosses that kill you quickly, uh, this can totally screw you over. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. He's dead next turn. Got him. Woo! Take another piercing whale, yeah. Piercing whale is really good. Start your uh. Doesn't really matter what I pick. I guess I'll take predator just in case it gets dropped to zero. Uh, yeah. Get deflect out of my deck with Sneko Eye. I don't want a zero cost. Yeah, nice. Mask of weakness. I love it. I love it. Smith up alchemize. We're getting there. <sighs> mm. 
one off lethal on him. Uh, you know what? Oh, no! Choker! Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't realize I already played six cards. We're taking 16 here. Nothing I can do about it. I could ghost in a jar, but that'll be way more useful. Regen! No, that's useless, because we have the uh, Mark of the Bloom. Okay. Here we go. Time meter. We meet again. I'm very amused. I'm having a blast. I love this game. Oh my god. Ever thought of doing media share? I have. I've done it in the past when I used to be a streamer. Uh, it's fun. It's just dangerous sometimes. You, know, you have to put a lot of limitations and st uh, stuff on it. Gotta be careful. My heart is pounding so hard. Oh god. Uh, this might be our Ghost in a Jar turn. It is. Thank you, even time for the five. Oh god, we have to. We beat him, but now we have a problem. We did it. What makes Ascension 20 so hard? Now we have to beat him. Oh god. 
Well, it's nice we don't need to worry about playing cards, like too many cards, but... Oh, actually, we still do because of the, that. I can't play my powers yet either. If we play our powers, he gets stronger. I think I need to play one. That's fine. <sighs> yeah, no, Tian Sha is the is the Oriental area of Pathfinder. I don't want to use this yet. Yo, Hector, thank you so much for the 10 euros. Uh, sorry, I need to actually add those into the donations real quick. Uh, so let me add a donation real quick. For five dollars from Eventide, thank you very much. And ten euros. Thank you so much, y'all. I really appreciate it a lot. Oh, we're closing in on that on that final sauce. We're getting there. Ah. Uh, as for our run here, dude. Yeah, the the secrets of magic read through is gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, right, PayPal. Uh, my phone doesn't go off enough. Is it? Okay, no, there's no PayPal's. Do we have to Wraith form here? Five was added twice? I don't think it was. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Um... If I Wraith form, we just lose. I, we cannot win if I use Wraith form. Uh, what did I major in college? I majored in theater. There's nothing I can do here. I'm pretty sure we've lost. This sucks. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we just, we've lost. Oh my word, where are we at money-wise? Right that way. Um. This is so not helpful. We just have to murder him. We gotta kill! We gotta kill! Can we kill him this turn? The answer may surprise you. It's no. Oh boy, oh boy. Rep in pieces. There's 30 damage. Where were you? I needed you! It's over. Ah! Ascension 20! Yeah, you guys can donate through <laughs> uh, YouTube Super Chat or stickers. You can also donate through... Um, you can also donate through uh, PayPal, which is linked. It's pinned to the top of the stream. Uh, why does it say I've only been live for 23 minutes? That's weird. That's not true. That's very strange. Oh, my word. Thank you, even tied for the two dollars. It's like the Spire is the ass blaster of video games. All right, y'all. We're gonna go for at least another hour, maybe two. We'll see. I have a special game. Oh, so cool. It's so cool. I have a special game lined up. 
for the last hour or two of the stream. Not video games, video games. Okay. If I may do this, let's click this, make sure everything's set up on the other page. It's gonna load. Hello, secret game. Super secret special game. You gonna load? It's just, it says playing. Um, why is my phone buzzing? More Slay the Spire? Uh, wasn't the plan? This was, the, the plan was for this game to work and not crash. <laughs> People donate, we're so close. Oh God, my poor throat. This is the last sauce, y'all. If we hit it, we'll hit it. Um, among us. <laughs> okay, this, is it, what's going on? Is it even trying to launch? I... Andrew. That's so cool! Andrew, please. Andrew, what did I do to you? Andrew, what did I do to you? Who hurt you? Yeah, I'm actually gonna go get my ice cream ready. One moment, chat. And then I ran away and never came back. This is my last line of defense. <laughs> this is my last line of defense, is my peanut butter cup ice cream. I don't recall this sauce. I don't remember what it's like. I don't think it has a flavor. I think this is just pain. And he's on two HP. So I can take the damage and be fine. Okay, oops. Okay. Let's crack this open. As I swap it out for a different hot sauce. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, the last two were really bad. They hurt for like 10 minutes straight. My tongue was back to normal. I was so happy. Life was back to normal. The flavor is death. It just, that's not a smell. The nuggies are quite cold, yes. The nuggies are pretty cold. I gotta find a good big nuggie. Oh, the final nuggie. That's a tendy is what that is. Got my ice cream, I've got my milk. It just smells like pain. There's no scent to it, it's just capsaicin. Andrew, I hope it was worth it. This is, a, this is not thick like the old stuff was. There we go. Oh, it's it's trying to drip out. It's trying to escape, but you can see it, chat. You can see it. I'm showing you from all the angles. Oh! Mm. 
Oh! Ah! <sighs> yes, I know. The fork. Uh. It's not helping. It's not. It's not helping. It hurts so bad. That's a fork. Bite me. Uh, uh, oh yeah, if you're not wearing headphones, uh, this boy sounds weird to everyone else in your house. Ow! Ah! It's so bad! It hurts! It's so bad! <laughs> the stun condition would imply that I'm only missing about four seconds. I'm missing a lot more than that. I want more milk. I want milk. Ah. My lips. Ah. My lips are numb. I can't feel them. Ah. Why are my lips numb? That's not normal, is it? Uh. Hmm. Uh. Oh, John, you joined at the great time. We just had the hottest sauce. <coughs> mm. It's just a poison. Um. My lips, they hurt. Hat back on this demon bile. That's what I should have called it. Demon bile. Eats away from the inside. Ugh. I know it burns twice tall. Don't pretend I don't know. I have only half the battle. I am an argument with a fork. Fight me. I like the texture of the cold prongs on my lips. It's a nice feeling. Try it sometime. Now eat a knife. That sounds dangerous. I think I'm okay. I think... I think... I think I'm gonna survive. Oh no. So, someone just asked what the 1300 challenge is. If I keep going, if I somehow find the ability to keep going here, 1300 is nothing. 1400 is that again. <laughs> I'm now heavily convinced I should not keep going. That was pain. 
That was raw, unfiltered, human suffering. There is still a tiny bit left on that wing. That wing is going in the garbage. Goodbye. That wing has been tainted by demon bile. Welcome back, Remy. Ugh. Now chug a Coke. I'm gonna stick to milk and ice cream, thanks. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, is my mystery game ready to work now? Let's see. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh. Yes, it is. Here we go, chap. Behold. Hi, Andre and Ben. What's up, y'all? I just had the worst hot sauce. Welcome to getting over it with Bennett Foddy. If you've never seen this game before, prepare for an experience. Uh, remember when this game was relevant? Yeah. <sighs> Have fun at class, Claudio. Oh no, wait, wait, what? Wait. <laughs> it's like Minecraft, I'll just cut the tree down. Am I stuck? Am I already stuck forever? Did I just soft lock the game in the first 30 seconds? Nope, nope, nope. No, we're good. <laughs> I have the voice on, right? Yeah, good. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. Shut up, Bennett. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home, and you have to go back after spending an hour Is there anyone in chat who has not you seen this game? The casino, and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, and then immediately dropped food on it. You've never seen it, La Chevalier? So... I later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Uh, starting over is harder than starting up. So, that, the goal of the game day, is to climb to this go, mountain with the most awkward now. controls I'll be here. ever. I am moving the white circle. All right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. But this white circle does not move like you would think. I just move my my my, my mouse around. The game. Don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002 titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo. A mysterious ah! person who was known at the time as the father of bee games. And bee games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. <laughs> I figured what 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 was the best way to end a miserable experience? than with an, another miserable experience. Happy $1,200. You guys smashed the donos. This is... This is for you. Are there legs in the pot? No one knows. It controls so much worse than you can ever imagine. The white circle does not move one-to-one -one with your mouse. And the head of the hammer is everything. It's so bad. It's so bad. But there is logic to it. That's the thing. People speed run this. People can beat the whole game in two and a half minutes. It's incredible. 
But like, so there's a center point. You see how I can't move like down past myself? You know, have a good one, Damien. Thanks for hanging out. Like, I can't, you can't move inside yourself. That's sort of the big limiting factor. Oh, and by the way, if you ever fall, there's no getting back up. In a certain up. way, sexy hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. Hate this. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain. Yeah, we're good. The <sighs> climbing in the digital world or in real life has certain... No! ...the game it's flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. The cliffs are too sheer, yeah. too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in no. falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of it. I appreciate the subscribe and ringing the bell, Damien. That's tree. awesome. A lot of people never got past it. God and poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. <laughs> Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Let's go. Yeah, don't ride the snake. I know. Never got that far, though. Certainly won't be today. I don't know how far we're going to get, but Lord knows we're going to do our best. <laughs> it's just such a strange form of movement. Because you can't control your body at all. It's all with the hammer. Goodbye! Oh. Okay. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh. There's there's a, there's some speed and finesse to it. Yo, see you later, Emmett. Yeah, we'll probably wrap up at like six or seven. Honestly, I can't believe it's hard to six, yeah. So we'll play this for 45 minutes. I'll rage, I'll die. I will all have a good night while I hug my toilet tomorrow. Someone else's toilet, actually. So I won't be home for most of tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna be awkward. Eh. Come on. <sighs> yep, yep, yep. It, it, it really is all about getting into the swing of things. No pun intended. Like, there is a rhythm to this game where you, you launch and swing and launch and swing and launch and swing, and it just works. The hard part is getting it to work. Wiggly. Why so wiggles? Why so wiggles? Oh boy, so how you doing chat? What's everyone up to? Shut. That's a deep frustration. A real punch in the gut. Bennett, I have not even gotten that far. I haven't even gotten to the lanterns yet. No! Oof. Sorry about Shut that. up, Bennett! What happened to that coffee cup? <sighs> yeah, basically every time you fall, the game does give you one of those like, Aw, womp womp, sucks to be you. But you can always try again. You know, unless you're a quitter. And I am a quitter. I'm a 
big old Twitter quitter. Yeah. Yeah. That worked out. Yeah. Yeah, going up. Yeah. Go no! Oh, it happened again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. <sighs> it's fine. Just listen to the lovely music, y'all. Planning out your books. I admire that. Freaking scheduling out the books you're going to read, how long it's going to take to read them. I love it. Eh, wish I did that with my videos. I try. <laughs> and then I don't. No! Oh, it happened again. No, bald man fall down. Oh, uh-oh. I think my belly's just now catching up to everything that's happened to it today. <laughs> oh, can't reach it. Oh, 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 progress, progress, progress. This is almost a mini checkpoint because it's tough to fall from here. I won't say impossible, but it's it's tough to fall. Now that I've said that, watch me fall. Okay. Patience is a virtue. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. <laughs> But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing. What and it's did you put inside me today? A game about Chimpkin? A funny thing happened to me Here's the lanterns. This part. For a new obstacle, oh. and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. Is the map always the same? The map is always but the I same. I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Give me... Get, hello? When you're building a video game Ugh. world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like Stop. working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain huh. shape that can be played with. God. In the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set. I've never gotten, I've gotten like just past these lanterns and that's about it. Not without breaking it into pieces. God, come on. Ideas. Give lantern. No. What makes it so tough? That'll kill you more often than any obstacle is accidentally grazing the ground and going flying. Now I get how, yeah, yeah. If it was random maps, people were speed running it. That'd be impressive. I'm surprised no one's made a getting over it. Randomizer yet. No, you can't panic in this game. That's the important thing. No matter what happens, you cannot panic. Because when you panic, you fling the hammer all around, you send yourself off in the worst possible directions. But as long as you stay, stay calm, it's okay. Let's go, let's go! You still donate? You can, yes. You absolutely can. Bought in a store and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened. Because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. Is he a god? Is he a god? Is he a god gamer? Eh. Eh. Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash, but only trash culture. B games, nah. B movies, B music, B philosophy. This game has a trackpad setting, and I have no idea what that could possibly change. Also, who's playing this game with a trackpad? 
Okay, so like, how do I... There it is. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Maybe Look at us go. This is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash. The ash heap of creativity's fountain. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. Okay. Okay. We're over. Play with a dance pad? Good God, how? This is 3D models of breakfast. Gen X's fanfic novels, scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned snuff scenes on Live League. Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups. Car crash epic. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. Discussions of McRibs. Discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, rotten, untitled. You know what happens if you fall down there, y'all? You win. Everything's fresh for about six seconds. Uh, Until the newer thing beckons, and we hit refresh. And there's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style, out of sight. Quark, the other way is through YouTube donations, which I think also require a phone number. I'm pretty sure almost anything you buy nowadays requires a phone number. It's online. Okay. This is the farthest I've ever gotten, by the way. Fun fact. We did it in, like... Okay, we're fine, we're fine, everything's fine, everything's hunky and dory, just like this, meh. Okay. Okay, break. Okay, slide. Sl slide. Okay. Slide. How would I react if I donated five hundred dollars right now? I would cry, because I would have to do two more things of that demon sauce, and I would probably end the stream right after. <laughs> this is like a fundraiser or something, sort of. Uh, not not like any charity. I want to be clear. This isn't like a charity donation. This isn't anything. This is me. I'm ha I've had an expensive summer. Lots of plane trips. Lots of trips I need to make. Uh, Gen Con and everything. So I just sort of thought this would be a fun way to try to recoup those losses if people wanted to donate, help out with that, uh, and pay back with some. Human suffering entertainment. Huh! Okay. Context, apparently people are really into it. Friendly <laughs> content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it, but not earn it. Why make something demanding if it just gets piled up in the landfill, filed in with the bland things? Whoa, where am I going? Where do I go? How much are we at? 12. Uh, wait. We're at 1,200, which means we've already hit both of the special fundraising goals. We're probably... Oh my god, I hate this. We're probably only going to be live for another half hour or so. No. Oh. Was I supposed to go down here? <gasps> we're at $1,200 raised. The special goals were for 500 and 1,000. I have nothing else planned. But every $200, I'll do the super hot sauce again and die a little bit more inside. Yeah, yeah, the bar capped out at a thousand. That was for the big, the big thing. Uh, so everything here is bonus. I should go donate, but I'm broke, right? Yo, don't worry about it. I will never, ever, ever be mad at someone for not donating or not pledging on Patreon. You know, like that is all optional. If you really want to go the extra mile to support me, that's awesome. Huh! But I will, I will never, ever expect people to give me money for my content. Uh! This thing that we call failure is not the falling down. But the staying down. Mary Pickford. And we're back here. Whee! And suddenly this part's not as scary anymore because you've beaten it. Now you just want to get back to where you were. You get more confident. This, weirdly enough, this game is so much about confidence and committing. If you're confident in what you're doing and you commit to your next move, it's not that bad. Shut up with the music! Oh. 
Thank you so much, Enslaved. That means so much. Honestly, yeah, words like that mean just as much. Honestly, probably more than the money. The money's great. The money helps me pay rent. The money helps me take the girlfriend out to dinner and buy groceries and stuff. But yeah, hearing that you guys are enjoying the content and watching and liking and commenting, it's, it, it means everything to me. So sincerely, thank you. Is this music copyrighted? I hope not. Oh! Uh! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Chambers is suffering already. You're not leeching, you're hanging out. Exactly, I'm never- again, the donating will all- will and always is optional. Are you talking about that one clip of the girl? Um, who was that- who was that Twitch streamer? I don't know who it was. I don't know who it was, but they were like, Come on, it's five dollars. You can afford to sub for five dollars. I'm giving you hours of content, and you can't spare me five dollars- like, no. I do this because I love it, and if people help support me, that's fantastic. But I will never be like, ugh, you're not donating? Get out of my stream. No, please, hang out. Hang out's so fun. Cool, the more people we have in here, the better. Ah. Yeah, no, I don't remember. <laughs> Trogador. No, wait, no, 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 we would need 200 more. I will not be suffering for 100 more. And, and now it is... Oh, that was so good. Uh, now, it, once now that we've passed the twelve hundred point, it is two hundred dollars to repeat the worst sauce. Fine, it's not that hard to get back there. Just take some time. This channel's been such a boon to myself and my players as we dive into PF2, and I've not been able to donate here. My partner and I are planning to jump onto your Patreon. Really? Oh, that would be so nice. Thank you. Yeah, the Patreon's an amazing place to support me. I get like 95% of patrons' uh, pledges. Uh, plus, it's just such a cool place to give y'all some really cool content, like the homebrew and the monster month and stuff. Uh, I honestly love it. Yeah, the best way, the best place to support me would have no rainbow, had the eyes, no tears. Um, is God definitely the um, the Patreon. Like, yeah, the donations are great. The super chats and stickers here on YouTube, super fun. And I love to see them. The best place to get the most bang for your buck and support the channel is Patreon. This Patreon helps me know how much money I've got coming in the next month. I can rely on it. The pain I feel now is the happiness I had before. That's the deal. C.S. Lewis. No words. That's so cool. Thank you so much for the ninety nine dollars, Mellow. Oh, my God. What's that for? Holy cow! Gah! <laughs> Thank you! Wow! Our... That's ins- Y'all need to calm yourselves. Alright! 99 more and we do the hell sauce again. Great! Thank you so very much. Love it. Fantastic. Ah! 
Just as my tongue was starting to feel- my tongue still is sore, by the way. Just so you know, my tongue still is, like, pretty sore. So that's fun. But, uh, you know, we'll get there. Just develop a per- yeah, develop a permanent speech impediment for my, uh, job, which is about speaking. Is anyone gonna match him? Anyone gonna match that $99 to cause the sauce to happen? Hmm? Who's gonna ruin my day? <laughs> Who wants to be sponsible? I'm falling, and I refuse to get up. I feel within me a peace above all earthly dignities, a still and quiet conscience. William Shakespeare. Wait, you did the other half through- you did not. You did not do the other half through PayPal. You didn't- Quark! You're piling it on! They're telling the truth. They're telling the truth, chat. Oh no. Oh no. What sauce is it? Well, $1,200 was the worst sauce. After that, you know what? Here, I'll I'll let I'll let the chat bot explain. Here, you know what? Someone someone be my be my someone type exclamation point hot please. Someone type exclamation point hot. While I mentally prepare myself. Not ready. I just did this 20 minutes ago. I'm not drinking it, you psycho. <sighs> we met on a common goal this day. <laughs> Let me go get the ice cream I just put away. And I'll top off my milk while I'm at it. Mentally preparing myself. And we might end the stream after this. Uh... You know, chat, this is what it's all about. Coming together. Unity. Unity. Mello and Andrew coming together, making things happen. That's called community. And I'm so proud of this community. Spontaneous combustion sauce. Oh god, oh jeez, oh gosh. There you go, chat. All over it. It's dribbles. It's dribbling. Oh my god. That's a death nugget right there. That's what that is, a death nugget. More? It's covering half the nugget! <laughs> I hate you. I'm not covering the whole thing in, but I'll put an extra little dribble on there just for you. Just for you and Andrew. I'm just remembering how bad this was half an hour ago. Why do sauce side down? <laughs> Why do I do sauce side down? 
More chicken. <laughs> so bad. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you for your generous donations. Oh, it hurts. God. What? What? It's not better the second time. Fun fact. Mm. Oh, give me the ice cream. Oh. Mm. Not even time. Uh, I'm so nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it very much. Uh, uh, uh. Almost had ice cream. Mm. Mm. That's so sweet. I'm generous. Even time you've donated so much. That's <gasps> so cool. Mm. 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 That's awesome, Mel. Mm. Yeah, that might <clears throat> that might be the last one, chat. Because mm. because mm. I'm out of ice cream. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Kai. It was awesome having you here. Have a good night. Mm. Uh. Uh. A lot of people have left and mm. I can't talk. And mm. I'm out of ice cream. Um and I also don't want an ulcer. I don't I don't eat this kind of stuff often, so. Mm. Uh. Uh. Thank you. Uh. Uh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As it almost sounds, Mello's right. I asked for this. I offered this. None of this happens without my consent. Mm. That's the last one, though, chat. I can't. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it hurts my stomach. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I'm so full. I am in pain. My throat kind of hurts, which is a not a good sign. Next hot sauce stream win. If I do this again, it's going to be for charity. Because I'm not doing this for myself again. Maybe I'll bring the sauces with me to Gen Con, though. One more 15 minutes of getting over? I can do that. Yeah, just let me... Let me ride out this wave of pain and drippage. Ugh. I'm on milk. There's so much inside me. How much milk have I gone through? Uh, almost a full quart. Or maybe, no, a full half gallon. I've gone through like a quart and a half. Uh, feel free to clip anything here. YouTube added clips. I don't know how to do it, but... Okay. Let's, uh... Let's play more Bennett Foddy. Uh, Y'all got 15 minutes of me. Let's see if I can get past where I was in 15 minutes. Ooh! Ooh. I can't. Oh god, it's like it's combined with the last time I did it. Like, the, the residual pain is worse this time. 
The residual pain is worse, like my tongue has been through a war. Just focus on the game. Focus on the game. Focus on winning the game. Focus on Bennett Foddy and his stupid, sexy British voice. <sighs> Don't look at chat. Chat only wants to hurt you. Chat is the enemy. Ah! <laughs> we laughed. We cried. But mostly, no Nat cried. Ah! Ba 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 no! Ba ba yaga! Ba ba la mouche! Please. And isn't that what's important? <laughs> it's true. It's not about the journey. It's about the nonats we made cry along the way. These are the stories you'll tell your grandkids. Can you imagine? Can you imagine 50 years from now? What did you do when you were... What did you do in your free time, granddad? Well, you see, we would watch a man play a video game and then pay him $100 to eat something spicy. Imagine explaining that to someone from 30 years ago. Someone in the 90s. Oh, God. Mm. Ah. <sighs> God, it hurts. My mouth is on fire. Oh, oh. I am the flame. I am the burn. I am the man, the myth, and the legend. Okay, we're back here. What's up, Soul Andre? I found an archive of videos made by your ancestors. <laughs> Imagine. 300 years from now, somehow all of all knowledge of this is lost. And people just find an archive. Imagine if, like, a solar flare happens. And the internet and most recorded content is lost. But then in, like, a millennium, they find... A copy of this on DVD somehow. Shut up, Bennett! But this is not true. You're sure to be happy again. And knowing this. Don't you dare say the 90s were 30 years ago. Abraham Lincoln. Uh, I was only saying 30 years ago because it was pre-internet time. Trying to explain this pre-internet just doesn't make sense. It's hilarious. Nope. Skyrim's old- actually, I honestly thought Skyrim was older than 10 years. I've never beaten it, so I've never cared enough to. Uh, this is my other spicy take for the day. I don't like Skyrim. I think Skyrim is not a good game, in my opinion. I think it has a lot of issues. I don't think the first-person camera angle works to its benefit. And, uh, I don't enjoy its level-up system. There. I said it. Dude, time is a weird soup. So many random ingredients tossed in. And we're back! We made it! Woo! Um... Right, yeah, well that's the thing, you you buy this to break your keyboard, honestly. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't like the... Uh, I don't like the star system, the weird star skill trees in, in Skyrim. It's a little much for me. Um, I don't like games where the enemies scale in level with you, either. Because it makes it feel like I'm not getting any better. So, like, when the enemies I'm fighting just keep getting stronger with me, regardless of where I go, that doesn't feel good to me. I like being able to go back to low-level areas and one-shot junk and be like, oh, yeah, look how strong I am. But, like, every Elder Scrolls game, by default, is just like, yeah, no, as you level up, so do the enemies. And, like, I get that from a gameplay standpoint, to be like, oh, it keeps the game interesting, you'll always find a challenge somewhere. That's fine. But I like that sense of growth. I play RPGs for that sense of growth. I play RPGs for the same reason I played Cookie Clicker. Make a big number go bigger! Again with the music! Ugh. 
focus. Um, the first Hamilton now Skyrim. Hey, those those are my, those are two of my big hot ones. I don't like I don't like Hamilton. And I don't like Skyrim. I don't like most of the Elder Scrolls. Morrowind was fun. Thank you for the Fs in the chat. I'm not I'm not just gonna leave you like that, but uh I think that's it. <laughs> I'll keep the music playing because I like it in the background, but oh that was brutal. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Sincerely, all of you who donated, all of you who just chilled and talked in chat. This was so much fun. It hurt. I cried. The pain was incomparable. But damn, if it wasn't a lot of fun. So, thank you guys for making this a great night. It wouldn't have been as incredible without all of you for being here. Thank you for reverse robbing me. <laughs> Just makes me think of the uh, ASDF movie. You're getting mugged. No, you're getting mugged. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. Thank you guys so much. I will be back next week. Remember, we hit both donation goals. So y'all are going to be picking the next stream, or the next video we do, which is going to be in the comments, uh, in the community poll. So make sure you're subscribed and check out your sub feeds tomorrow for the community poll to decide on the video. And then I'll also be releasing a custom one-shot adventure for Pathfinder 2e on DriveThruRPG sometime in the next month. So I'm excited for that. Thank you, Gorellin. Hopefully the car ride won't be too bad. I'm going to be doing a... Uh, I'm going to be doing some nice, uh, tums and whatnot. <sighs> of course, I know, I know it was with love. Nothing I felt today was, felt malicious. And again, I don't have to do it. If I didn't want to, I could say, no, I'm not doing that hot sauce. And that's why I'm also saying, no, I am ending the stream. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have an amazing night. Stay fantastic. Until next time. No nat ones. I don't want to stop the music. <laughs>